We don't give enough credit to Yonkers. No, no, it's a good town, man. Yeah, yeah. Mount Vernon, no, too. No, Joe Biden. No, no, Warrior and Miles. What's that? Uh, the- <laughs> Microphone check, one, two, what is this? Welcome to the Joe Button Podcast, episode two. Huh? We getting through this shit. Episode 218, I am your host, Joe Button, here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends and friends only today. Parks is here, Maul is here, Rory is here, Erickson is here, and Savon is here. Uh, I want to shout out to my Spotify listenership, salute, uh, ear, all that other shit. <laughs> shout out to the YouTube viewership, salute, uh, gang, gang, common gang, all of that shit the niggas do to get their subscribers up. And today, <laughs> I want to not shout out all of you other people because because somebody brought up a pretty amazing point, and I'd like to share it. They said, yo, every podcast, y'all come on and do a whole lot of shouting out to all these irrelevant-ass niggas, and I don't hear nothing about the hackers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Let's get them out the way. Quick. And I yeah, don't thought, hack my I shit. thought, I thought yeah, about it. Y'all. He's right. Yeah. They might be number one. Yeah. No, 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 no. They could ruin the world. It's number... <laughs> It's number one. They leaked all of Sony's emails. They put movies out early. Yeah. Some people, our shit still don't show up on their Spotify. <laughs> How do I know it's not the hackers? Good point. We love y'all. So, yeah. salute. salute. Matter of fact, are y'all looking for Listen, a job? Actually, <laughs> put you on payroll. Mm. Yeah, hack nah, some shit for us. Time out. That can get tricky. Mm. They can hack. I, ha- I, 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 I had a hacker on payroll before. <laughs> and ice? Then we beefed. I was about to you beat me to it. I was about to say ice. It, it wasn't ice, but then, then we beefed and I lost. <laughs> you'll, you'll always lose to a hacker. You can't beef with You a can't beat yeah, a hacker. Nah. So I don't want to shout anybody out. I want to ded- I, I actually want to dedicate this episode. <laughs> <laughs> to the Specifically to the hacker. <laughs> Uh, I want to dedicate. And yeah, we love you. yeah. Oh, I love y'all. I'm more scared of y'all than the shave room commenter people. Man, y'all actors, <laughs> y'all get shit lit. That's number one. Now, let me get uh, some more. Let me address some more of my fears off of the hackers. Uh, I'm not gonna ask how y'all are doing. I don't really give a fuck how y'all are doing today. And most times, y'all don't really give a fuck either. True. But what Fair. I will say is, uh, somehow last night, Maul, mm-hmm. I ended up on Lipstick Alley. <laughs> You would end up another, another scary place. It's a weird alley to be. Yeah. I'm afraid of that alley, <laughs> and I'm afraid of lipstick. Yeah, hmm. I've been in some dark alleys before. <laughs> Nothing lipstick is scary. <laughs> and if you was in an alley and seen a nigga in some lipstick, <laughs> <laughs> that's just scary. Was, you was gonna be wearing that lipstick in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I was on Lipstick Alley, right? And I know how that how the origin of that place. And what, salute to y'all. What is I, the origin of that place? It's membership only. Okay. And are you it, a member? We ain't, your talk, we ain't gonna talk about Murder Inc. <laughs> <laughs> Lipstick Alley is definitely a darker criminal. <laughs> What's your username, Cobb? I'm not telling you any it's of this Cobb. information. Uh, I'm not a member, but long story, a little less long. I wouldn't think that this was the place to uh, to ever discuss us. Mm-hmm. They were discussing us. They listen. <laughs> oh, okay. Every week. Shout, Shout out to Lipstick yeah. Alley. Oh, yeah. slow down. Okay. <laughs> there, there, there's a thread there with 225 pages, each page being 20 to 25 posts long. I read it all. <laughs> Every, <laughs> from from one. From Not, well, one. Well, from 235. Yeah. And then I was like, no, nah, I'm going to one. Oh, you went backwards. Oh yeah, I went backwards. I'm oh, backwards. Yeah. I'm assuming I do you most things sleep? backwards. Okay. Assuming huh? you didn't sleep that night. Well, I don't. Well, no, I was. No, I didn't sleep very much, and my girl was sleep, so. I didn't have anything good, else. Good time to, to yeah. tackle the lipstick. Uh, Hit a forum up. And what I'm saying to you, Maul, is man, they hate me and you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, man. Why they hate me and you? Well, they hate You're a pretty me. Pretty likable person. I think you are too. I like you, Maul. Thank you. Well, they love Parks and Rory. Hey. Hey, <laughs> fuck up! Hey, shout out to Lipstick. Yeah. I'm not sure that's a good thing. Oh, they must, they must, it, must be, it must be. It must be from the last episode they listened to. They listen to all of them, and I don't spend too much time there. They love Parks, Rory. They love Sam, uh, and that's where the list stops. But hmm. <laughs> in reading, in reading all of this, this, this information, I wanted to come here. I think before I asked you guys uh, about what category you guys think women have you in. So I would like to ask you guys that again, followed by another question. So, well, actually, I'll tell you the question is followed by. Followed by, I would like to know, uh, 
some of the things that women that hate you guys and despise you guys have said about your character throughout the years. Mm-hmm. Because that's what I was thinking about as I was reading mm-hmm. <laughs> Lipstick Alley. I was reading and I was just clutching my fucking heart. Like, <laughs> how could they feel some of this stuff about me? Like, <laughs> I lost Queen. <laughs> like, talk to me. And I was like, damn, I want to ask the guys how they feel about women that maybe have hated them or what they've heard about themselves through women that have hated them. So, who would like to start? Oh, where do I begin? <laughs> uh, selfish has definitely been and let's like get, number one. And let's get my dick little out right out the way. <laughs> oh, that's their uh, go-to. who even wants to bring that? Yeah, yeah, but that's their go-to. Yeah. Well, no, that, <laughs> like, no, that, that repl- uh, he I was hit in me, the kind of replaced that. <laughs> huh? He hit me, replaced his dick as little. Jeez. <laughs> Saturday, dark. Saturday podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, the lies that they'll start with. Okay, I understand. I'm not, what, I understand what I'm you're not saying. Trying to I thought mock you were gonna say like domestic abuse or something. Uh, so you. good to be back with the bros. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to mock domestic abuse, but that replaced to me from what I've seen. The liars, the people. The, we're, we're talking, talking about, about the liars and the people that uh, take advantage of uh, domestic abuse and all of that stuff. So yes. We're not talking about actual victims, please. Yeah, I'm getting back on our shit, man. Fuck that. Good disclaimer. <laughs> so a few. Uh, oh, wait, before y'all. Oh yeah, answer, answer. I want to hear. It. Uh, too nonchalant. Don't really uh show too much emotion. They never can tell if I if I would like them or not. But that which is stupid to me because it's like if I'm that's dismissive. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm Women saying, got words that they pull out for their shit like but dismissive. It, yeah. But I I just I just think that I do a great job at. If somebody makes you comfortable, shows you a good time, I mean, you would think that they like you, right? Like, right. I think I do a pretty good, great job. But even if it's not like a girlfriend, it's like just women in general. Like when they're around me and they're hanging out with me, they're, I make sure that they're okay, everything's all right. Like I cater to the women before I would cater to the dudes in the room. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't, so me being, uh, you know, not showing emotion and not really, they don't can't gauge if I like them or not. I don't, I never understood that, but I hear that a lot. So it's got to be, it must be some truth to it. S- similar to that, yeah. I've had women have a, multiple women think in my dating life that I lead them on but I'm the type of person that tries to make women feel comfortable and like I'll take you out because I want to go out right. I want to go to that spot because I want to go to that spot mm-hmm. and I think you're cool I want to get to know you in the places that I like Right. <laughs> they take that as oh he's taking me to his spot Yeah. He take and, all then, his and then I yeah. become the person that's leading someone on Yeah. so I always get the oh I thought you was a good guy I was like well when did I ever perceive that a therapist would call call you controlling. That's fine. I could take that. Who's therapying the therapist? It's a good question. Joe. Most therapists need you therapy. See that episode? Yeah. That's why I never really went to see a therapist. No, but so they, they <laughs> therapying the therapist. Wait, huh? That's why I never really went to see a therapist. Because I just always like, who the fuck is this person? Like, who's therapying you, nigga? Like, they got you have to need some therapy if people come to you and put all of their problems on. But you could say that you, you could say that with yeah, everything you on could, earth. Who's could, policing the police? Who's still president? Take the president. Therapy from Who's president? Who's president? The president. You don't want to be cool? Cool on that? I'll pray. I'd rather pray. All right. Yeah. It's fine. Um, what, to that point, have you guys ever been called a good guy and then you asked the girl, what made you think I was a good person? Like, I've why ne- did you think that? I've never been called No, a because good I'm guy. a good person. So, unless you're saying no, no, no. In the view of a woman's standards of the good guy you know like the, the good guy role i don't well, think you're the in the good guy strike role. strike three for me yeah. <laughs> not talking to you no way you keep wording it different and i'm still out of it no i'm just i'm just <laughs> was, i was looking at more. i'm just naturally a, just a good person like so i don't that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking the, about the perception of being the good guy yeah what like women, he's the good guy women believe to be the good guy Yeah, no no i know you're a good person that's not mm. what i'm talking about the good guy i wouldn't think maul would be looked at as the good guy I, I would I would think so. I've been. Definitely. You be bringing chicks food? Yeah. I've done that. I've done that. Oh, no, you're a good guy. <laughs> I'm not bringing food. <laughs> Feeding a woman? Maul is definitely the oh, nigga to come through at 2 a.m. with the Applebee's. <laughs> yeah, if it's open, yeah. <laughs> the two for ten? Maul is the... <laughs> Maul is stopping at Kennedy Fried for you. What you need? I'm on the way. Two piece. That's two a good guy. Two breasts with a, with a, with a roll. Yeah, that yeah. is That's a, a good, good guy. guy. Yeah. Come on, two man. Two breasts with a roll. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Uh, Lipstick Alley says that we uh, are too corporate and commercial since we've gotten the bag, and well, they can true. they can hear me dancing around all my uh, relationships. Big facts. Yeah. What else they saying in the alley? Well, which page? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of pages. Two hundred nine. 
No, they was all, that's around the Ash episode too. Oh, oh God! <laughs> they wasn't feeling. It. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> they wasn't feeling. It they wasn't they feeling it. That Ash episode. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> <laughs> look, look, salute to y'all. I love all y'all, man. Yeah, su- su- salute to y'all. Let me love do it. Uh, salute to everybody. It's not. It's about the hackers, man. <laughs> episode, I think this hack episode is, on is there. dedicated to you guys. <laughs> All right, uh, happy Saturday. Where do you want to start? It's a lot of shit that I'm passionate about. Let's get right to it, man. Let's get to the shits. Uh, our, I'd like What's to seg- segue into the shits. We okay. know we know what the shits is. Okay. Let's just slow walk the dog. Okay, okay. okay. take your time getting Here to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, they. T- yeah, you know what I mean? No problem. Uh, so what do you want? Funk flex this whole thing where like, the next commercial break. Got the new Meek diss. The new Meek reply to Drake. Nigga, we were sitting there. Six hours Not later. Me. He yeah. didn't have a MP nothing. <laughs> he lied. Uh, Y'all niggas worship him. It was a lie. It was. Um, so where do you want to start? We'll, we'll slow walk the dog, but where do we want to start? Earlier, we were having a conversation. I was in a, in a moment of vulnerability. I was sharing to my brothers one of the real reasons why I will never rap ever again in life. And I'll share it with you guys. It's because I don't know the new slang. <laughs> I don't know what sounds cool. Yeah. Like, but I don't know what's hard. You haven't capped my, my properly. Point is, it's an honest reason. You, it's, you it's true. Dress, no, it's he true. dresses like all the young kids. So you should know, like, what brands they wearing that you could rhyme Balenciaga with something else see that's but that's true. that's why I'm I'm all I'm, I, I'm I, I hate my whole life when I rap when I rap <laughs> well, no we've heard you just talking when I rap really well <laughs> and was trying to like be the guy that rapped well I dressed really bad so the kids didn't mm. give a fuck now that I dress really really uh well all I right, dress better I, I, you I dressed to better. A double really I dressed on there. better. Okay, <laughs> I slowed you. it down. <laughs> I brought it back. Relax. Yeah, that was on like two fourteen. That page. They hate it. <laughs> <laughs> That's when the wardrobe switch. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what's Joe doing, man? <laughs> anybody else think that? Um, <laughs> anyone else? Yeah. Think when you start with anybody else think, but uh, no. Now that I dress better, I might rap worse, and it's still the same conundrum. Yeah, but mm. we were saying at your age now, which thirty eight, correct? 38. Wasn't being t- Not my industry asking. age, my real age. And this is <laughs> when got I got it. lost here. Give it to give it to him. Tell them, because I want to hear the audience. And somehow your industry age is old. actually older than <laughs> Yeah, no, Joe's actual. industry age is 45. <laughs> Lord, that's crazy. <laughs> Thanks, Bart. I appreciate <laughs> it. At 45 years old, you need to kick knowledge. You can't talk fly shit now. The fly shit is the knowledge. Nah, you, you can talk fly shit, but you gotta you gotta, what I, it gotta, you be gotta like, kick knowledge. You gotta I just, kick fly I, but knowledge. I won't know too. how to say it fly. You will. You, yo, I just bought this couch. It's do, mad big. Do, do, yeah, it's a nice couch. Yeah. But, yeah. Fan, I don't want to hear no nigga tell me about his couch. <laughs> <laughs> no, Rick Ross could rap about his couch way better than anybody else. Yeah. Ross, Ross is the could kill a couch. Hope too. I don't know what Hove's couch is. No, I think, no I think Hove, Hove hasn't seen it. Mm. That's exactly uh, the new couch. Haven't seen it yet. Oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> no, no, no. No, it's new couch. Only slept on it once. <laughs> <laughs> It's a great couch. Only slept on it once. Oh wait, hold up. On page one ninety seven, they called us hoes, little helpers. Oh, that's true. Oh god, man. Uh, listen, my brain is. No, what are you doing, man? no it's, 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 it's in, in the your alley. brain now. Now it's in your brain. It's yeah, your brain. your brain is in the alley. Yeah, uh, cool, hoes, man. little helpers. <laughs> yeah, we'll let you guys know. Hove doesn't talk to us very often. At all. At all. At all. We wish that was the case, but it's not. Yeah, Maul just keep posting all these pictures with Biggs to make it look like that. But I don't. <laughs> I don't be speaking to whole bigs, bleak, <laughs> dad, dames, a mill, yay, I a mill, Tierra Marie. I ain't spoke to fucking who else? I've actually probably spoken Billy to Billy Bathgate. <laughs> oh my god! Shout out to Billy Bathgate. Man. I ain't Yo, no, remember I, Billy Bathgate? Yeah. I ain't spoke to nobody. Shout out to Great. Wise P. Wise P. Now it's my man. I know who Wise P is. Yeah, it's my guy. Yeah. I'm not saying nothing bad about Wise P. I was just wanted to stop you. Uh, <laughs> he was about to. <laughs> um, no, they told me Billy Bathgate was getting me the fuck out of here. Recently? No, nigga, in '99. Oh, I'm about to be like, what the <laughs> fuck? Is, where have I been? Like, no, bro. okay. All right, well, how did we get on Billy Bathgate? What are we talking about? We're what talking was I just about? We just talking uh, about how you can rap. Yeah. Oh, wait. So yeah, the slang, the slang. But then somehow that conversation led to uh, the best deliverer of. Other people's verses. No, that's not what it's talking about. Tell it's me. talking about at your age, you having to spit the knowledge and the mature shit. Oh, yeah. That's spit what knowledge. About. Yeah. All right. So I have no problem being a kick knowledge guy. I have knowledge now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now. now well, when no, I, when I was rapping, I have no knowledge. Mm-hmm. I couldn't tell you anything uh, but uh, perks and zannies. <laughs> that was knowledge. Out, out, you, rumble. you was ahead of your time. <laughs> Who else? Cat Loud. <laughs> Still doing that's that. knowledge. That was knowledge. I think everything you said to Yachty you could make into an album. 
I would I th- get some I think knowledge that today. would be nah, your knowledge. I got a verse about some real estate today. <laughs> like, I would tell you to buy some. <laughs> today. <laughs> I would tell you to build your, fix your credit. All that shit Hope said, I would say it differently. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, get for- your shit to 800, y'all. All right, so. <laughs> and then back up. <laughs> back up. Back up off the mic. Right. So Joe Button. Like, this record is trash. Joe Button 445 coming credit. in 2020. <laughs> Fuck my credit. This get shit trash. Get shit to 800, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I kick yeah, knowledge shit. bad. Hell yeah. Oh, yes. yeah. Yo, yeah, yeah, turn yeah. that yo, off. Niggas don't yeah. talk. It's a gift to kick knowledge. Hell yeah. It's yeah. all in delivery. Uh, I, I, I'm staying on my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Keith, like, this is what you do it. I'm going to just talk to niggas about yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs to rhyme? Yeah, 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 yeah that's true. Let's yeah, just talk. I'm cool on rhyming things. Yeah, um, this is your spoken word album every week. All right, so what is uh, I Hate Porzingis? I'm glad he's gone. <laughs> we won't start there because this is not a sports podcast. No, let's let's get some structure because we brought the idea of who delivers the rhymes the best that didn't write them. That's where you tried to segue That's into. That's where I was trying to go, yes. Yeah. And then we had a long conversation with a bunch of names. Um, Puff and Dre being at one and two, the debate was. Hmm. I think I would put, I might put Kanye above Puff. Hmm. So here's the thing with okay. Ye. Personally. No, no fight Personally. for me. Here's the thing with Just Ye. Just because I've heard Puff. And why, we, why I differ those. Because I think Ye does right to an extent. So I don't put him in the Puff and Dre category where we know flat out someone else is right in this. Okay. My only problem Do with people Puff, write for Kanye West? Of course. My only problem with Puff is I already always know exactly who wrote the rhyme. I mean, you hear it. Yeah. yeah. For me, and I, so, know this sounds, I know this sounds whack to uh, uh, the hip-hop purists, but... I give a lot of credit to people who don't write rhymes at all, who deliver a verse written by somebody else extremely well. I.e. that Dream Doll verse that we bigged up last week. They she, say they say that she did not write it. I don't know, so I, I won't pretend who to. Who cares? But <laughs> she she killed it. Who wrote Dick Breath? <laughs> <laughs> that's it. very important. Bro. That's no, very is. important. Who said, yo, put that as the ad lib? <laughs> yeah, very that's, a, that's a good engineer. That's a word. That's, that's, a, um, that's an insult that only a girl could create. That's true. Like that is breath. true. She like, definitely wrote. She wrote. She wrote the Beijing off his hairline. <laughs> that's. I mean, that's coming from that. experience. Yeah, a nigga can't write that. <laughs> or, or a nigga could. <laughs> Gay nigga got bars. All right. See, <laughs> <laughs> see what I'm saying? What? See, yeah. Yo, you yeah, hate, so it's got to be them, <laughs> equality. Look at that nigga. They got you, bars. You know what? You're right. Absolutely. Equality. Uh, You're right. And nigga ride the Beijing. <laughs> All right, man. You know what? So yeah, what you was so saying? So anyways, Rory? here's where Puff separates it from me from Dre. Uh huh. Dirty money. Okay. That album is ahead of his time. I don't think, yeah. and I'm not. Let me not say I don't think Dre could do that. Dre has not done that. That's what separates it for me. Nah, Puff making Rory that dirty up money. A good point. I never thought of that. That dirty money album changes it for me. Shit. Why? Why? Dan, why Danny Kane. <laughs> why did the Dre, band? Why didn't Dre do that? Day twenty six. Like, explain how he didn't do that. Oh, Parks about to get you with some oh, fuck <laughs> some weird Dre facts <laughs> that we don't know about. No, I'm just curious. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't say Puff was singing on that, but the more melodic stuff, I've never heard Dre do that. And okay. continuing on, because if we go later down in Dre's career, I know exactly when Eminem wrote his lyrics because he sounded like Eminem. I know exactly when Kendrick wrote it because he sounded like Kendrick. I know exactly when Game wrote Rory, it. Rory, let me like let me Game. help you out. We never got a Truth Hurts album. Mm. <laughs> Everybody was waiting for it. She yeah. had a smash single. Yeah. yeah, I don't think she's the only R and B. Uh, I'm, I'm, I won't. I won't bring up Michelle. Michelle, ain't, but Dre's worked with some R and B people. We just don't Michelle know him records. for right. that. Yeah, right. yeah. It's Hell yeah. Puff kind of dances in both arenas. I guess yeah. that's where the separation is for me. But it, Dre is in a class of his and own. I don't know if it's yeah. fair because I think Puff wanted to be more out there than Dre did. It doesn't. So it's, not, it's not even really kind of. Yo, a Dre. Fair. Even you didn't know Jay Z wrote that song. The Watcher. You know what I'm saying? Like that's well, not easy to uh, do. A few of them that he wrote for Dre. Well, true. <laughs> yeah. I didn't that's know okay. that he wrote uh, "Still Dre Day," and when I found out, my mind was blown. Wait, mm. who wrote "Still Dre Day"? Hov. Yeah. When 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 really? I think when Dre. Yeah. I had no. Oh, you didn't know that? No. Still Dre. Yeah. I got you right Dre now. Wrote that. Oh, I had no idea. But that's when and I knew he was different. To, for I that, knew he wrote the watch. The fact that he could write rap uh, on it mad times. a record like that for a West Coast artist and sound oh, like no, he was right, from so the West Coast. So you said Dre Day. I thought you were talking no, from still the Dre. I mean, still Dre. Still Dre. Right, yeah, still okay, Dre. no, this oh, makes sense. Oh, I thought it. you meant sorry. Dre Day. I was like, wait, what? Oh, yeah, but sorry. even with that, still that Dre. don't sound like Hov. But I was, I was, my my head was fucked up when I learned that Hov Hov wrote this. Actually, I'll play it for the people that that didn't know. All right, Dre, you kind of phony because Hov wrote this and we thought you did the beat, but Scott Storch did the beat. 
You phony for this. <laughs> nah, but he produced it. Though. He instructed he every one of it, them. Yeah. Of course, <laughs> I'm being facetious. Yeah, we get we get the term producer confused in hip hop. Hell yeah. Wait, first of all, good. That's let's good let's point. really give some credit to this man. You don't even rap, and the, your first thing you told us is that you have a day. <laughs> <laughs> And, e- yeah. and everybody's fucking and with And nobody it. disagreed. <laughs> Word. No, it's hard to. Actually, how many times did he tell us his Dre Day? He got a few Dre Day songs, right? Yeah, there's a song Dre Day. It's, it's, it's the second is there, song on the chronic. Is, yeah. there, is there a part two? This is know. it. That could be considered part two. Still Dre. Nah, Dre gets a day. I don't <laughs> Dre like, definitely doesn't have a day. Move. He can't even have like Friday. I don't fuck with Wednesdays. <laughs> <laughs> he can have Wednesday. I mean, we drop on Wednesday. What's the meaning behind Wednesday. <laughs> It's spelled weird. Honestly, I, I can't like spell it now. Wetness day. <laughs> yeah. Wetness. Yeah, yeah. Wetness day. You got to look at all the names of the week, though. Like, That's the name true. of the day is Friday. It's, it's weird. What crew came up with the days of the week? Was that the Jews? <laughs> Yo, I want a doctor. Possibly. I want a doctor to come here and diagnose us all with ADD. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I, for sure. <laughs> How we going we from Dre to, <laughs> the Romans to came. Wednesday? The Romans. Somebody came up with Wednesday. Socrates. Wednesday. And we're pronouncing it wrong. Absolutely. It's definitely Wednesday. Wednesday. Absolutely. It wins. <laughs> the fuck out of here. <laughs> wins. Um, all right, let's, uh, what were we talking about? What were we saying? What were you saying just now? We, we talked, if y'all not putting Kanye in that conversation, then, I'm, 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 putting not putting, Con- then I'm, I'm not putting Drake in that conversation. No, I'm putting him there second, personally. See, I'm not putting Drake there as well because I, I think Drake writes. I just don't know what exactly. Mm. If he doesn't Same write, see, Drake, is, Drake writes. Let me, uh, come on. Let me say this point before I forget. <laughs> That's the reason that I separate Dre Love. from Puff. Uh, uh, is because Dre has produced in every generation from 80, whatever that was, which is he's, very difficult. He's the greatest hip-hop producer of all time. And somehow, in a weird way, Drake is that for me in the microwave era. <laughs> huh? Explain. He got, the, a lo- he got a long way to go. Oh, of course. I'm never saying... Right. I'm, I, no disrespect. Not, it's not, two, it's two totally different they're, talents they're, yeah, to me. Yeah. I'm saying that in the microwave era, like we appreciate longevity and Dre doing what he did in all these different eras and times of sounds changing and all of this shit because sounds changed uh, so distantly. Right. Today, that's not really the case. So I give Drake a lot of credit for... Uh, creating a sound that's lasted, finding the next sound. The sounds sounds change like every year and a half, two years. And he's been yeah. at the forefront of a lot of it. Or he found the person that was. True. And brought, yeah, and brought, brought them yeah, to the yeah, forefront. He does a great job at that. Yeah. 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 yeah, I guess that's what I mean. I mean, I, and honestly, I feel like that's really the only way you can really survive in something that changes so much as music, music does. You need to keep the young creatives that that know what the next sound is, that's creating the next sound, that's dictating the next wave. So, I mean, he does a great job at just, you know, homing a lot of these young producers and young writers and young artists and just let them grow. And, I mean, what young artists wouldn't want to come up under Drake? Like? Yeah, but that's not even, like, I feel like that's not giving him enough credit because you're not just like, oh, you know what's the next wave is this reggae Afrobeat shit. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, obviously he has the pull to make it kind of be the next wave, but right. to have the ear that it sounds good enough to say, I think I'm going to help make this the next wave. Right. Mm-hmm. And that's why I hold one of my favorite Drake bars is I wonder how they would survive in this era when talking about the older rappers. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I can't say that. Everyone knows I'm a host and I don't have evidence of sounds changing as frequently as they do in Drake's era yeah. and still staying relevant. But he has been not the to say Hope couldn't do it, but I'm, I'm just. It, we have it's to give tough. Drake credit because a lot of the sound changes that have happened have been at his his yeah his his merit yeah he changed the sound in in other genres yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah we got to give it's, him it's a little nuts. and to everyone yeah. that's that's screaming at their computer right now we're saying to the mainstream obviously we know Drake did not create Afro beats or any of that shit we're yeah. talking yeah. about to the mainstream Absolutely. everyone yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. just yeah. want to make that clear yeah. right it's true we know that he didn't take. The fucking Atlanta sound, like we right, right, right. He just made it mainstream. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying that. Yeah, yeah that's important. Yeah. They kicked our ass. Yeah. Um. So that's off on a tangent, and we're thirty minutes in. So, do y'all <laughs> want to get to the shits now, or do you want to? All of it is the shits to me because I want to. I want to talk about the Empire dude. Okay, that's Let's nuts to me. Made a that's right? nuts. The, yeah, he did. Man, it's an interesting statement. All right, I'm shutting up then. Why? No, we, we can't shut up. I'm insensitive. Y'all talk. <laughs> no, <laughs> what's, he's not what's insensitive. What statement? Uh, what, what, what statement did he make? 
the statement was more saying, I mean, he started with my body's fine, my soul is stronger, the, the things that we all wanted to hear for his health because we all care about how he is doing. Right. He then went on to explain that everything that happened in the story is factual and he's going to make sure that we all know it's factual, which was a little odd to me. It's a lie. <laughs> he's lying. <laughs> okay. But yes, his but statement was very vague. <laughs> I am happy and that he is addressing the people that have said that it is false and it sounds weird and everything in that story has holes. Okay. <laughs> Yo, grow up. <laughs> Y'all thought that sandwich was gonna get him out of here? <laughs> that nigga was getting the subway, goddamn it, safe and safe and sound at two a.m. <laughs> Listen. Now that now that he's okay, can we talk about his palate? <laughs> Uh, Have y'all ate at Subway fam, before? <laughs> Subway is offensive. Fam, do y'all believe his story? <sighs> After reading more of the details, I, I will say I am. There, uh, there's a, a little, a little bit of skeptic. I don't even want to say a little bit. I'm very skeptical about the entire story. It's, it just doesn't. It, I'm just, just be honest. It just Thank you, Mo. It just doesn't add up. Yeah, then, like I, I hate when I, niggas I, think black people like, are stupid. If or I people get, are stupid. If I get beat up right now, and this is just me, if I get jumped outside right now, and Dudes tied noose around my neck. I'm not waiting three hours, two hours to call the police. And for sure, when the police show up, that noose will not still be around my neck. And that's the first thing that should have gave you reason to quarrel. Any black person Could that word? tells you that they had a noose put on them and left it there for the next 45 minutes, you should ask questions. Yeah, That's not a normal thing, just in psychology. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. But okay. It didn't even have to Got be it. loose. If it was whatever on, on me, that wasn't on me before I left my house. I'm, he said, he not said in the statement me. that he was doing it to preserve the evidence. Well, I would believe that if, well, call the if cops I right would believe there, that I would believe that if your next move after this this uh, attack was to call the police, it was not. Right. It was not exactly. You called your manager, and that was uh, forty minutes later. Yeah, and then the police got a call, and then became and then it became a witch hunt. Of evidence because they know there's footage, so there has to be footage. So then the cops go and get footage, and they didn't get footage of an attack because mm-hmm. they didn't call these people suspects. They mm-hmm. called them persons of interest, mm-hmm. which you do when you just have a picture of some shit and you have no idea what the fuck these people did. Mm-hmm. But how could that be the case when there was a letter sent to Chicago Fox Five News of a bunch of pasty shit pasted everywhere? Letters. It, it looked like the uh, Silence of the Lambs nigga wrote that shit. <laughs> yeah, but but that's cool. That could possibly happen for sure. Got it. Sure. Then you're telling me uh, Lee Daniels was the first person to post about this tag and immediately deleted it. Okay, that's fine too. Can we just be honest? That's fine too. Can we just be honest for a second? Who would want to attack this dude? Like how he's not. A person that somebody would say him, we're going after. He's not that. I'm not saying he's not relevant, but I'm we not, don't talk about him every day. He's not somebody that's big in the news every day. He's not like. So I just don't even understand why that's just. It's such a random thing, and it's it, it seems like such an elaborate plan. But when you look at it, it's like this does not make any fucking sense. Clearly, somebody came together and planned something and tried to cover all of their their bases. Like, okay, let's send a letter here. Let's do this. But it's like when you look at it, fam, this let, don't make no fucking sense. Hey, let's talk. Mm. Let's talk further. Uh, I, I'm not. I'm not going to go all the way with what you're saying because hate crimes do exist. Absolutely. So if this were indeed a hate crime, we wouldn't say that. Right. But we don't feel that it was right. us. Right. Us. And you know, it's a shame that we in this ever where I got to think twice about if I'm allowed to think something. Right. I don't believe that nigga was. A, it was a hate crime. I don't believe that. Right. Hmm. Sorry, which, which, I I, reser- I should reserve that right is what I'm saying today. Which makes it all the worse if that is the case because these hate crimes do happen. Right. So oh, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. You're taken away from the believability, which I don't even know if it's a word, but it's it, like I think it's a word. Yeah, and, and if it's not, you body that creation of a word. Yeah, I mean, in the event that it <laughs> yeah. is false, it's also bad. Like politi- like to add the political element to it, you give. It I, wait, 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 y'all, y'all fast forwarding. Okay. Let me let me just explain a little yeah, more. So, uh, 
What was the last thing said? Cops call 45 minutes later. A funny letter sent to uh, Fox News. Oh, Lee Daniels, post and delete. That's fine. But then the very next post I saw was from Taraji. All right. And it said, hey, vicious attack, blah, 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 blah. The third line was. Oh, no. Stream his music. Stream his music. Make sure his music is streamed 50 million times. Wait a minute now. You're not telling me that somebody involved in a hate crime is uh, you're trying to promote their music. That just don't seem right to me. To that me, didn't even, no. that didn't even to me. feel like Taraji saying that. I, that's I could never see Taraji saying that. that. And I don't know her, but it was. Just, I don't know her felt either. Weird. <laughs> and if it didn't feel feel weird, it felt weird coupled with Lee Daniels post and delete, and it felt a whole lot weirder when the video of whatever single she was promoting had a dude with a noose in it. Mm. Mm. I've seen enough. Yeah. It's a little fishy. I have yeah. seen a fuck enough. That's some sick shit. If in my true. opinion. And this is my my opinion, and I'm explaining this to y'all because this would I had to learn this as well. I had to learn this as well. I had to learn why I couldn't immediately come tell y'all that I had a fight with seven niggas the day before the third story video shoot where I got my fucking ass beat. I couldn't tell y'all that. Mm-hmm. And I told some people that were in my best interest. Mm-hmm. And some of the conversation was, let's come up with a story. <laughs> mm. I'm telling you that when famous people are doing something that they have no business doing, sometimes Mm -hmm. stories are created to protect against that. Absolutely. And what better way to do it than something that no one will question, which is a hate crime. Absolutely. And if I thought you would question one hate crime, guess what the fuck I'm going to do? You guessed it. I'm going to put icing on the cake and make it two. Mm Mm-hmm. You black nigger and you gay bastard. Mm -hmm. That is appealing to a multitude of audiences. (laughs) Yeah, for sure. And what Jinx said to me earlier was, damn, I never even thought about none of this shit you're saying, Joe, because I never looked past hate crime. You said said it was a hate crime and I'm all in. That's the point, Jinx. Mm -hmm. We're We're in an era today where emotions are manipulated by the powers that be. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that that is what's happening because I do believe that he was attacked. Would you guys, did you guys hear the story that was on Reddit? Mm -hmm. You did? You did? You did? Yes. Should we share with the audience? Should I do it? Should y'all do it? Love love was quarrel. Love was quarrel. He was, he was flirting with somebody else's boyfriend or lover. And they followed him home from the gay nightclub in Chicago that he frequents often and they beat him up. And not saying I believe that, but when I see the pictures of him beat up, (laughs) That's how it looked. Mm. And who's walking around because in if cold, I'm be- cold Chicago with bleach at three in the morning? Well, forget about that. Uh, I never met a kind racist that was attacking me. <laughs> right. If if you're telling me that somebody who hated the fact he was black and gay attacked him, that don't match the picture I saw. Mm-mm. That's me. That's me. All I'm saying is there is at least 25 different reasons to be a little skeptical. And that's outside of just the times we're in. It's tough to believe things. I don't believe Hollywood. I don't believe actors. I don't believe police. And I don't believe the government. And all of those entities are here. Yeah. <laughs> and they're loud. That's a wild. And they're very loud. I'm being honest. I'm being honest. That's, yeah. how, that's how I feel. So pardon yeah. me. Pardon me if, if, my, if my third eye is a little attentive. Mm. I don't want to be insensitive to anybody who has ever been the victim of a hate crime. Please. Absolutely. Please no. Absolutely Please not. no. And and I want to be sensitive to him because he was attacked, period. Mm-hmm. Period. Period. This dialogue is only about the, the timeline and the reasoning that's been told to us as the viewing public. I don't I don't really agree with it. It, it, it doesn't add up. It, it's, it's, it's a little nuts. Yeah, it's a little nuts. It, 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 just, it, it just it's a little nuts. It is. And if it comes out that this is indeed a hate crime and this happened, then we we will apologize. I will be but, the first person to apologize. Yeah, but as of right now, it this is oh, very very yeah. suspect. That's all I'm saying. And 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 you know, I'm waiting on the footage because I was skeptical for a little while, and people said, "Come on, Joe, there's footage," and I said, "Nothing," because there's nothing you can say when somebody says there's footage. Mm-hmm. So I was waiting for the footage, and then they put that picture out, and the two niggas look like ghosts. I ain't see a red hat. I ain't see white skin. They didn't even have a white walk. Mm-hmm. I couldn't tell who these niggas was. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, you think you tell a walk? Mm-hmm. I had no idea who they was. 
Yeah, the, the footage wasn't very. It wasn't. It wasn't it, much it, there. It, it, it's a little grainy. Yeah, it wasn't. You much can't there. see it standing up in court. Yeah. Oh, this whole shit sound like a setup out of Hollywood. Yeah. Sorry, I don't believe anything. I'm jaded. No, I'm, I'm with you on this one for sure. I'm with you. And I think he's gonna let it blow over. That statement was so vague that I think he's just gonna let this roll out. I am still waiting to hear from the girl that was in the car crash with Terrence J. <laughs> <laughs> you will never hear. But I'm not joking. Why won't I hear it? Because I ain't supposed Joe. to hear it. <laughs> right. I'm not supposed to hear it. Yeah. But that's all I'm saying. It's Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. Hmm. And this may sound... You telling me I'm supposed to believe something out of Hollywood? Wait, and then I'm seeing... I saw some docs that told me Hollywood was started in conjunction with the mob? Oh, yeah, I mean... Oh, wait, absolutely. you just found out about that? <laughs> I'm just... Do you want me to believe Hollywood? <laughs> yes, yeah, I just found out. Oh, yeah, no, that's... that's I also just fact. found... Listen, I, I, listen, I told you guys a few weeks ago that I looked up my fucking uh, family background on my father's side this uh, past week, and I looked up my family background on my mom's side, and let me tell you... You're Irish. <laughs> you and Rory are brothers? <laughs> I got <it. laughs> Fucked up. You don't yeah. think that's fucked up? That you and Rory are brothers? No. That I'm not really supposed to be light skinned. I'm dark skinned. Oh, okay. But I'm light skinned. You got dark skin tendencies. I ain't gonna talk about it. Okay. It's <laughs> fucked up, though. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ancestry.com, man. <laughs> Wow. Is that the site that your mom wow. they told us she's from the world? Yeah. yeah, Ancestry.com. That's sick. That's a sick ass response. <laughs> Joe went and logged right in. You're from the world. I, I did. <laughs> I, 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 he's I, related I, to Rory. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Rory had racist ancestors. Yeah. No. If he's from the world. <laughs> I, okay, never mind. No, no, you win. <laughs> yeah, you definitely no, win. No, not A Parks. Not yeah. me. My, my niece. My my uh, my brother's daughter, my niece, who's 18, 19, 20, I don't fucking know. She's in college. Uh, she went to the family reunion with my brother and my mom, the family part of I never go to that family reunion. <laughs> I never go to that side. And she came back with questions. Okay. So she went on Ancestry.com, and it said 17% uh, European. So okay. she had even more questions. Right. And that led me to having questions, which ultimately led to my mom answering some questions. Okay. And... It's just interesting shit. She had the answers. I didn't like the answers. Of course. Your, I don't like I the mean, answers on my mom's side. I don't I don't I didn't get the answers on my dad's side yet, but I'm a little fishy there, but I'm just really happy I'm here. So, okay. I can't say anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wasn't your grandmother was your your mom's mom was she That's exactly what I said to my mom. She said she said uh but but grandma was super super light. I said, "Yeah, ma. I thought that grandma was lighter than me." And that's the end. Mm. I never, never delved deeper into okay, it. Yeah, okay, I see what you're saying. Until I maybe went to, uh, until I went to maybe my uncle's funeral mm. on that side, and everybody was the same complexion as my grandma. Right. And then as a young nine year old or whatever, I had some questions. Mm. But and I don't think a nine year old's mind is able to understand. <laughs> no, 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 you can't yeah. process that. No. Well, what that, ethnicity is your grandmother? Switzerland is that side. Mm. Okay. That that that's a that's a Switzerland thing. And yeah, some things happen. <laughs> great, As unfortunately, great, they do. great granddad. Uh, it was great granddad on that side. The slave, the slave master he belonged to. It's crazy, man. It's craziness. Mm. But but listen, fuck all that. The interesting part about it is, you talk to your dad. Well, I talked to my dad. My granddad just died, and. I knew my great grandma. I don't know my great granddad, but great granddad ain't but a couple of years ago. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. That's the scary part of all of this. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah it fucked me up a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't want to talk about serious stuff today. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm logic. That's the end. <laughs> You're logic. You have more comedy. You and logic have more comedy. <laughs> All right, so now that I know this, I'm entering myself in some of these mulatto conversations. Cole been calling himself the best mulatto rapper. I disagree if I'm mulatto. <laughs> it's a whole new Look conversation. Oh, 100%. And it's a whole new conversation. And I'm old privilege. Yeah, it's old. Like, niggas just been treating me black. Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Respect my shit. No, nah, we gotta respect it. If it's in the blood, no, it's in the blood. I'm so joking right now. <laughs> I'm so shit. kidding right now. If it's now. in the blood, it's in the blood, man. Don't Fuck do that, it. man. Because I'm really your complex. You're a darker. <laughs> Don't do that. Right. Don't do that. They was wildin'. Okay. Let's talk about game. <laughs> it definitely Whoa, sounds like a crazy segue. Yeah, I don't want to segue, man. Let's fucking, let's fucking talk about game. Uh, good rapper. But why? Yeah. Let's get to the. 
Let's get to the shit. Should we just have a game convo before we get to that shit? That is exactly what should happen. Okay, so let's have a game. So game Lipstick Alley says that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. Lipstick Alley says it's corny now that since we got the bag, we have to explain everything to a newer audience because a lot of them are day one. We've been doing that for a while though, kind of. But a lot of them are day one, so I understand the day one's feelings toward explaining things. I, listen, I, I just told you, I just told y'all that I hate that you know we have to sometimes question our quote unquote edge. Right. So I mean, I understand. I understand the point. Um, so I want to provide some history for the people that think this is out of the blue. Nothing in the music industry is out of the blue. Right. First and foremost. That's first. <laughs> And that's important because that was one of the first lessons I learned coming into music business. And that's one of the toughest ones to learn that there really is no coincidence. Um, so let's go back to the creation of uh, Fire. Yes, I'm looking for it. I'm looking for the it. The song or that, actual fire? The actual fire. Don't, don't Parks. What year don't, BC was that? Don't. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> Calling just Blaze. Y'all hate all my good tunes. Do you guys think, do you guys think dinosaurs really existed? <laughs> oh, for sure. Okay. I don't think they existed. Hey, hold up now. Is this just an excuse to play your music? <laughs> How you not even stream your own music and just play wait, it off the two? Wait, what did you say, iTunes? Rory? Let me turn it down so I can hear you. What did you say? I said, why you not even stream your own music? Yeah, get that like, point. You're just going to play it off Get iTunes? that point. Oh, 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 don't cents. stream music. That's weird. I buy music. Me too, but I stream it too. I'm not streaming Joe Budden. I buy it and then I stream it. Did, did, you, did you buy I Fire? Like, huh? Did you buy Fire? Probably. Okay. <laughs> um, You got to buy your album when it first comes out. I did. Yeah. 20 of them. That's like an old uh, music industry. I did uh, that into year 17. Yeah. <laughs> I still buy it. I, I had to get my shit. Somebody had to get these yeah. sound scan numbers up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he was going to be the one? Yeah, me and my mom. Me and my mom. I bought you a... Virgin. Um, Virgin Megastore. I bought Rage. <laughs> Virgin yeah. Megastore. I, I need the CDQ. Oh, thanks, Parks. Yeah. Get the CDQ. I especially <laughs> liked when when uh, uh, my my peak career days were over. And you guys were looking for the new Kendrick tune on bootleg, and it was nothing but pump it up. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was dope. Good song. I like that. And I didn't do that. <laughs> yes, you did. The it's hackers. The, it's the hackers. The thought it was oh, me. Oh, quote, unquote, the Cobb did it. They always blame me, and they always go to that bum-ass story. Yo, Joe used to be on all hip-hop begging for porn passwords. <laughs> Listen, that, that was once. <laughs> that was once. That you was still holding on to that? Yeah, man, I don't think that's fair. <laughs> Yo, niggas that had the porn passwords in 01? Yeah, fam. You, you had the Bang Bros passwords? My nigga. Fam. Yeah, because they nigga was only going to give you the preview. Yeah. You wasn't going to bust off nah, the preview. Nah. Your man had the password. That yeah. Shit, that was the Netflix password before Netflix. I don't it know was. why Bang they're Bros? clowning. I don't know why they're clowning me. Bang Bros was the password if, before Netflix. If dude password. in all hip hop had the password. Chia 201 was asking for it. <laughs> Chia 201. Chia yeah. 201. How'd you spell it? C H I was just making Is that still your. Chia. That was your YouTube shit till like last year. <laughs> no, it's still there. I just click uh, other. Oh, click, yeah, 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 the, yeah, the secondary shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The that's the one that's popping now. I didn't know. I didn't know. Chia 201. Chia, chia, chia. CYK rap. Chia is. No, it's chia. Chia. Yeah, you can't come back. I ain't even say nothing yet, my nigga. God damn. I didn't say anything. Respect chill. All right, respect, my nigga. You got it. <laughs> nigga won't respect chill. <laughs> it's it's right. only chill. Joe. It's only Joe and Premium Pete still saying chill. Chill. <laughs> chill. That was a podcast joke. <laughs> Premium Pete, you said? Yeah, it's his thing. Oh. He be saying cheer. If I, if I, That's my man, too. I'm not clowning him. I'm just saying just no. joke. Better try to clown him. Well, shut up real yeah. quick. Yeah. All right, shut up. So, all right, everybody be quiet so I can clown real quick. I laugh at the dudes who you could tell they created their name in 87. Like, <laughs> Funk Master Flex. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Premium Pete. Yeah. <laughs> Why was Pete the premium? I'm shutting up now because that nigga tough. Uh, uh, but Fire. Fire, for some reason, I was in Los Angeles having to finish the vocals with a polyp on my vocal cords. Uh, somebody oh, brings. Adding the struggle to it. Somebody, <laughs> that was in LA. Uh, I, I normally recorded in New York. Somebody brings in a, a very young game. A very young game. I don't remember who this was that brought him in. Uh, New but, Jersey Devil? But, New Jersey? Uh, it wasn't New Jersey Devil. He might have came in the picture of two years later, but 
J- it, it was, JT the bigger figure? Th- this was... <laughs> I'm just thinking of people that was around Game at that time. JT the was bigger gonna, figure. Game is going to fuck Rory up. And Wait, I'm not, y'all I'm not going to help. <laughs> Wait, y'all think I'm clowning? I would help. You got to help. I would help. He couldn't take <laughs> both of us. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, what am I saying here? All right, yeah, so uh, game, game, so game comes the in the studio. Yet. I don't remember who, who brung him to the studio, but they brought him there with a story. And the story at the time was, here is this young man who's a phenomenal MC who's having a hard time putting records together. Mm. Um. So, what could we do? They were talking to Skane. They were not talking to me. Um, I maybe met Game then and paid him absolutely zero mind, like I do with most rappers while I'm in the studio. Right. And went back to recording. Fast forward from there. That was my first time meeting Game. I do the Clue tape. I do the He should be in a gene to with all the gangster actors. I thought it was a metaphor. Clearly, at the time, it was not. It was a diss. Uh, game clap back that spawned the Joe Budden game beef and boy that was a great beef yeah that was a good beef man and that's one of the reasons I like what these kids are doing now with the beef with your friends and reply quickly you got 48 hours if you don't you're done right cause that's what we did back then with niggas we hated (laughs) we wasn't friends and we were looking to kill you and you better be strapped to a studio because I'm going to give you 300 bars in the next 30 minutes. Mm. That's what it was. And that's what me and Game got into. And boy, was it a classic battle then, right? Uh, fast forward from there. Uh, uh, the street guys behind me meet up with the street guys behind Game, which were different street guys at the time. Of, come on, I don't want to hear that shit. Um, <laughs> which were different street guys at the time. At the time, this was... Uh, who was game signed to? It's super tough. Scary shit. That wasn't Black Hand. That was Graf. I beefed with him too. I beefed with all the niggas. Uh, Black Hand, I beefed with beef all with. of. I beefed with all of the people that were signed to people that you shouldn't play around with. Mm-hmm. I'm sure That's that true. call from Chaz was not a fun one. Y'all know game was with who? I don't remember who was managing game at the time. But it was someone from New York. But God, he was tough. <laughs> He was tough because I couldn't talk to him. Okay. Like, mm. you couldn't get him on the phone? And, and no, no, we're going to talk about that later because there's some scary shit happening to me. There's some scary shit happening in hip hop right this second. Uh, it's been an ongoing theme from, of minds of the internet's meeting the, the internet meeting the streets and mm. the language barriers that exist. And I'm seeing a lot of scary shit. The, I'm sure the Takashi topic will lead us there. But back then, this was scary shit. No, your tough guys had to talk to their tough guys. Remember how Dave Chappelle just said his goons and R. <laughs> Kelly goons had to negotiate? Yeah. That's normal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's Hell normal. Yeah. Yeah. When when people are tougher than you, you have to call the people you know that are tougher than you. So they squashed all of that. Right. Um, God damn, Webin Nitty got me in a lot of trouble, man. I didn't know nothing about these real killers I was fucking with. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Webin Nitty. God damn it. But uh, So that beef was over and done with. And then we fast forward and get to Joe Budden going to E1. That's a big fast forward. That's a long time. Yeah, that's that's a big fast forward. You're right. And I should have zero to do with game at this point. Mm -hmm. But I do. Because when Amalgam sells the Joe Budden contract to E1 and I land there at the time, that's a big acquisition. And I'm probably one of the bigger artists there. Right. Until maybe two years later when game arrives. Well, hold on. I think, yeah, you I did. Think you skip, I think you skipped that. a step. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, padded room. What yeah. was the name of the record? Future. Future. Yeah. Like that record a lot. Oh. Talk, talk about. Oh patching shit! Up. Yeah, we you're, you're did a record step. together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was a single. I like that record. <laughs> no, nah, it's a good record. It was a who single was off that project. Who was singing on that hook? Some nigga. Hold <laughs> 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 no, on. Let me find. Let me try to find that record. What was the name? Had him singing on the future. Future. The future. The future. Then future came out and did that. <laughs> what I, no I more? Got right here, I got it right here. Oh, yeah, play him. Turn down a little bit. Turn down a little bit. Hey, it's not fair. This was the sound back in the day, though. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you know I show your music a lot. That was Paul, I like this song. That was Polo the Dawn. That was like, what, 10 years it ago? It sounds like this is Park. definitely Polo <laughs> the Dawn. I'm going to fuck, fuck you up, Parks. Parks is right. I'm going to fuck Parks up. This is the That's Polo the Dawn era. <laughs> Joe was definitely... Joe was definitely trying to get trying now, to cross over right little. there. Yeah. He's trying to uh, cross let's over. hear the song. Future. I can't hear you guys. <laughs> that was Amani. <laughs> no, but go to game. I don't want to hear me. 
Jet to the Hamptons. <laughs> Fucking drive. It's right there. Jet to the Hamptons. Who takes Niggas a jet always to want the a Hamptons? jet to the Hamptons. It's right there. First of all, they take that a shit helicopter. Is, that That's how I know they had no money. Would you turn it down if y'all are being funny? <laughs> like, I can't hear y'all joke. The Hampton is 47 minutes from I can't get there. <laughs> Take a helicopter. Maul flew Take to Uber. Malibu for fucking I LA. I did Yes, you did. You made that bullshit. Nah, I don't hate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, turn it, turn it off. God damn. God, Joe Budden is old and trash. All right, so. so this is when you signed so, up Wall Street. So we did a feature. We even did a feature together after we pieced it up. I mm-hmm. went to Amalgam and told them. that's usually what happens after Well, how did rappers. you guys piece it up? I, I'm I went, asking. I went to Amalgam. Said so piece this up and, for and, me? And, 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 told him, <laughs> and told him the game charged way more than he did. Mm. And, I, and I called Game and said, yo, I'm going to take this. You take that. Mm. Game said, cool. <laughs> and that was the end of that. Great record. And I was broke as shit. I needed that 30K. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, Amalgam Amalgam was and and game was at its peak. Go game. Amalgam had that bread. Oh, oh yeah, and probably Amal- wearing that Amalgam, around. Amalgam was ahead of its time. Yeah, so yeah. You could say what no, you could say about no. how it ended. I'm saying but. no because we're a big platform. <laughs> 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 but but yes. Um, so that record happened then, and everything is fine. Fast forward to what was I fast forwarding to? E1. 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 Yeah. E1. Joe Budden gets there. Pretty big acquisition at the time until two years later. Game and WAC 100 signed a really big deal for close to X amount of dollars. I can't say because E1 uh, made sure that they would never say and they told Game and WAC to never say. But I found out. <laughs> <laughs> and that's important to note because that's where I think some fake rapper tension came from, I think. Mm. But what? not rapper tension because Game and I never spoke. Uh, it would have never been a beef. At the time, I was trying desperately to get away from E1, and Game had just arrived with a Drake record. Mm. Wait. Yeah, it was called 100. Yeah. Nah, that was before that. No, it was not. That was his first release on E1. That double. Uh, he, si- he signed the E1 maybe a but year. But you had already before. put out. No, I had lost. put out music. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking Kane about his yeah, okay, okay. deal. Okay. He he got a big deal. Right. He got a Drake record. He should have got a big deal. You got a Drake record. You put yeah. out a double album on E1, and that yeah. album was great. Yeah, well, the yeah, red he, joint. He, he, hell yeah, he yeah. was deserving of a big deal. One hundred percent, Maul. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, I understand the music business. Mm-hmm. So while and while I was trying to get away from E1. Game and Wax signed a huge deal, and they should have. Mm-hmm. I don't think they felt like that. Uh, I don't think they knew that I felt like that. Okay. Because not only was I the biggest act in the building, maybe when they got there, one of the bigger acts, but probably the person that brought them to that building, Gabby, uh, was basically like family to me. Mm-hmm. From Def Jam, from Skane, from that, that's still family. Right. Facts. So that's a little bit of tension. Uh, pardon me if this is long and drawn out, but this is a podcast and we're here to talk, draw, draw out things. <laughs> <laughs> um, so somehow that spawned a beef between, and not a beef, I'll, say, I'll just say tension. I saw WAC 100 going on about... He, he was going on a whole bunch of rants about how Joe Budden wouldn't get a release date from E1 game and them niggas is the new niggas in town. Uh, we got a lot more money. We push them niggas back if we feel like it. Everything in E1 revolves around us. Well, let's put in context that at that point was our introduction to the internet who WAC 100 was and he was talking about everyone at the time. Mm. It wasn't like just a, a release specific to you. WAC was talking about everybody at that time. Okay. Let's just put things in the context of who WAC was becoming on the internet. Okay. I guess I never really looked at it like that because all I thought was, well, where does this come from with me? Right. Where does this come from with me? Um. But whatever. <laughs> I ain't about to go digging and find out. That was that. I was trying to get the fuck away from E1. That's exactly what I did. Fast forward to Joe Budden's altercation with the Migos. Mm, okay. BET Awards. Joe Budden works for Complex. Big blow up misunderstanding between Yachty and myself that transfers over to Migos and myself at the red carpet and the BET. Fast forward three weeks later, I'm at Park's house trying to do a podcast. I get a phone call or I see an Instagram post from, you guessed it, WAC 100. 
Yet again. Some Joe Budden shit. Joe Budden is confused. <laughs> Come to find out, WAC 100 is really, really tight with Pete. Okay. From QC. Okay. And I walked out of Park's house and I had maybe an hour long conversation with WAC 100 about things. Period. Okay. Things that shall remain anonymous. I was pretty transparent. WAC was pretty transparent. And we both spoke as men with families. Right. It was a great Good. talk. Good. It was a great talk. And came back in here, I did my podcast. Fast forward to, is that now? I, I would think. I don't think there's anything. Fast in forward to now. I haven't heard the song, but I've heard about it. Apparently, there is a song being teased and promoted. Uh, this is the song where Game is saying whatever he's saying about Kim and Kanye. He has also included my fiance and myself. Uh, I can't speak about who else may or may not be included because I haven't heard the song. But he has addressed some other women online. I assume K. Michelle to be one of them. Okay. Uh, Why does K. Michelle always just catch it? <laughs> Can we just leave K. Michelle alone? She is always like her name just, just always comes up for whatever. I just want everyone to leave. Well, K. Michelle, K. Michelle alone. replied with, "You know, what I mean, it'd be the niggas that let you ride their face that be the first ones to talk shit." Yeah, first of all, what's and going, then what's he wrong re, with he face? reposted that and just said, "I'm just reposting my friend shit because she wants y'all to see it." Let's pause. <laughs> let's pause for a minute, and you guys give me your top four pettiest rappers ever. 50 number one 50 is yeah, in there Game is in there Game is there Who else is there? Jay's there a little low Jay's petty yeah. Jay, Jay is definitely there Drake is but there But way too. more subtle. Yeah, Drake yeah. is behind Drake the scenes too. petty He's super petty yeah. Sorry Drake I want to interview <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just got a call like see you, bro Hear that lipstick alley I told the truth <laughs> uh, I gotta find number five You a sixth man You're not in the starting five But you're a sixth I'm man I'm with you I'm with you you're Game is in man. there no, game. Game is already mentioned. Oh, we already mentioned. Yeah, we got yeah. 50, we got game, we got Jay, and we got Drake. Okay. We'll find a fifth. We'll find yeah. a fifth. Let's we gotta think back. Um There's definitely some older petty rappers. Yeah. So where did where did I uh oh so we're at now, right? Yeah. We're at now, yes, yeah, we're here. <laughs> All right, so there's a record going around. Last week I came in here and I wanted to talk about it. And fucking Maul talked me out of it. Maul always talks good, me out of good shit. Friend. Good friend. But why? Let me tell you why I disagree. Don't answer. Okay. Let me answer first. And this is the this is the mistake I made with Drake. So let me acknowledge that this is a mistake with Drake. Not so much here. Drake dissed me on that French record, and before anybody heard it, I was on his ass. That's a mistake when you're going against the most popular rapper in the world. Mm -hmm. Okay. You should let him diss you first. Yeah, okay. Now when you're responding, you don't look nuts. Right. So this Drake record is being, I mean, not Drake, uh, the game record is being teased and promoted. And of course I caught wind of it because we catch wind of everything. Mm -hmm. uh, and I wanted to come in last week and talk, but Maul told me to stop. Why? <clears throat> because why? Because that's what he's wants. And that's what makes this interesting. That's what he wants. That's what makes this weird. Mm. Because I guess I'll go through the range of emotions. That's what I'll do. You you hear something like this, and as men, you immediately, uh, it speaks to your ego, your pride. You immediately start talking your man shit, and you want to get into some shit. Right. I'm not above it. That's what happened. Right. Uh, the more I sat and thought, I said, well, God damn it. Why am I in this? Like, I, I, I mean, I don't know if this is true. I've never asked if this is true. But why would I be in this? Even if it was true. If this were true, why am I hearing about it now? From you. Mm. Right. That's something to ask. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because if you beat at some point and we never heard about it, I'm to assume you didn't think it was such a stat. So if you're telling me about it now, 
I assume you to believe it to be a stat. And if you believe it to be a stat now, I'm assuming it to be because she is with me. Which makes you one of the weird niggas that gets fucking praise from fucking behind guys. I'm just telling you how my weird brain looks at things. Right. Mm -hmm. That's one. The more I obsessed over it, I got into... I got into a place of extreme gratitude because that's not even my fight today. I've never said so what more than I've said it since Hove said it to me. <laughs> right. Two great words. Yeah. But the more I sat and thought about this is the more I said to myself, nigga, so what? What type of loser and face ass nigga is you, nigga? Let me explain something to people out there. I don't give two fucks what anybody did before I was involved with them. <laughs> yeah. To me, that's more loser shit. <laughs> yeah. I just don't. And now that I'm here, I address things accordingly. And I don't really see a need to address it accordingly with you because you ain't say it to me, nigga. You said it in a song. And you can call me game. <laughs> Whack 100, you got my number. I ain't hear from you neither, nigga. I say that to say we have to, you know, I don't personalize things and we have to put everything in perspective. This is marketing 101. This is not new. This is not new. We've seen this from game for quite some time. His whole career. My stance last week when he was talking about Kim and Kanye and I was like, yo, game don't have to do that. It don't change because it's me. <laughs> yeah. It don't change. It don't change because it's me and mine. It's how I feel is how I feel. Mm -hmm. So let me say how I feel. Game, you don't have to do this. <laughs> let me be the first nigga to tell you that the rapper that I think you are, with the catalog that I think you have built, with the hits that you have, with the longevity that you have, with the crew that you have from the coast that you rep, it's a pop. It's it's probably it's probably it's second right now behind Atlanta. Maybe it's a really popping coast. Yeah, is what I'm saying. Yeah, they're right there. A lot of popping MCs. I argue Hell Nipsey yeah. had one of the best albums last year. There's Kendrick. I don't need to go through all these J, niggas. J Rock too. It's a million of these niggas. Yeah. Problem had a great album. Yeah. It's too many of the niggas that's dope out there. Yeah. Boogie has a good album. Boogie has Boogie. a great album. Yeah. Reason. Reason had an amazing album. J Rock had my favorite. There shows. are like, too many, like, no. many of West the Coast dudes out right now. there <laughs> that are creating great music. Yeah. And when I got my brain into that, the more I got my brain into that, is the more that I felt sorry for game. Hmm. Is the more that I felt bad. See, because my. Hey, you fight with me, game. Unfortunately, the fight I'm fighting includes you. Hmm. It's, an, it's, it's all inclusive of creators. Thank God I worked my way out of that fight that you fight in game. What's this nigga real name? Jaceon? Jaceon. Don't fucking talk to me, no nigga <laughs> named Jaceon. <laughs> you talking about my girl with a girl name. Watch your fucking mouth, man. I feel bad for niggas like that. Because I understand. Mm. Unfortunately, today, real good MCs have to do shit like that. Because real good MCing ain't really getting it done. And I never thought about how ice fucking cold game was. Mm. Until. Until. And let me just say, I think that's trash. I'm stopping that in 2019. I'm done saying how cold or trash niggas are while I'm not going to rap. I ain't going to do nothing but talk. But in talking, I never thought about game because game don't come to me. Game is ice. <laughs> Put a note here. That'll be good. <laughs> I 
MOP killed it. I was gonna say I thought where, where's 50 <laughs> well, for the MOP version. I need to hear fame. I'm not quick. giving game no hearts. Shit, fuck out of here, nigga. Okay, Pause. I'm trying to diss this thing. <laughs> Pause. <right. laughs> Great record, for sure. Where? Classic record. I'm not saying that to this game. I can't say that to, to this game. Most of my career was spent cold. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's not a diss. I come from a place of identification, not comparison. I understand it. I empathize with it. Game don't have a single. Hmm. Savon, where's game signed to? Don't look nothing up. Tell me. He won still. He won still. Is it he won still? telling it's telling you know what it means it means bad fucking business practice is what it means <laughs> that is what it means when you are signed to e1 and you have to do this salacious sensationalized bullshit this tasteless bullshit where you calling out people that have clearly moved on and not thinking anything about you and then what does it say about that that you're calling out women that ain't said a word about you they're not proud of you nigga <laughs> You're not the brag guy. <laughs> Why are you telling us? It's off. It's a little off, but not to me because your entire career you've been the guy that's just begged for acceptance. I'm the guy that brought the change of heart clip to existence. I know you well. Your type. I know that type. Well. I just feel bad that you have to do that. Not just you. There is a plethora of rappers. <laughs> That because their music is not garnering the attention that they want. And I hate that I'm saying that on this podcast. That sounds horrible. Yeah, it sucks. But but I'm not trying to be funny. Yeah. I'm 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 just trying to speak facts. Right. D- well, I think the overall point is that game doesn't need to do this because he's had one of the better discographies of any rapper that we can name in the last fifteen years. I feel yeah. bad. I I feel bad that he thinks he has to do it. Well here. <sighs> Here's what I think, because his last album, 1992, which I thought was one of the more underrated albums of what, maybe two years ago that came out. Well, he, I love that album. Game didn't do any of the antics that we've known him to do in his early career with that album. That album, it was a great album, but it didn't make the noise that it should. That album got super uh, overshadowed by he. Documentary two was dope, and then he came out with the documentary two point five or whatever, which was also dope. But that nice. got overshadowed a little bit by the previous one. And then 92 so, so was if right I'm game, that. If I'm game and I'm thinking from his perspective, what worked in my career? And the that's, antics. That's the other reason that I try not to personalize this because people only do what they know to work for them. Right. And this, this has worked for game's entire career. And I don't mean to cut you off. It's working right now. That's true. Well, right and, that, and that's Tamal's point. Because that's the conundrum you're faced with. When you know that someone is doing something solely for attention and you don't really give a fuck about it because that's not your vibe, it's not your energy. Right. I could not say nothing about it at all. Right. I mean, but this is right on par with what Game has always done, though. I mean, he, but know, that's, he but, took a but, break. But, yeah, you got to think. I mean, no, uh, every, he, I mean, the dick print online, you know, the photo. <laughs> Maul, Maul, but Maul. Number one, this is right on par with what Joe does. Mm-hmm. Number one. Number two, funny you should bring that up. <laughs> I've heard some stories. <laughs> I don't want to hit you. I, I mean, you yeah. keep yeah. I'm, I'm all set. I'm cool on those stories. Yeah. I don't hear no stories. That's yeah. why I don't understand why niggas would fuck with me. I'm petty. I've heard shit. Like, leave me alone. Leave me alone. God forbid I go put what I heard in the verse. It would be the end. But I can't say that because I'm not going to rap. Uh, <laughs> um, where, am I, where am I at with this? Uh... I assume there'd be some more shit said. Uh, I don't care. Uh, boy, are they doing, they're, they're trying to do an amazing job of letting everybody know that this track exists. I've heard, uh, Surf done heard it, Act done heard it. <laughs> boy, y'all are promoting. I hope this gets you over 100K or whatever numbers you feel you need to do uh, so you don't have to behave in such a desperate manner because that is, that is what this is. Uh, yeah, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to stop there. 
Oh, right. I'll pick up that. But it, it's a it's a bigger. Uh, see, my uh, the only problem I have with that is like you know like my rap heroes they wouldn't do shit like that. They wouldn't do shit like this. And so I look at game as it. I mean, it is what it is. Game is a arguably, fucking clown. No, but but away from that, he's a uh, he's a West Coast. He's a hip hop legend. And a you can't talk about West Coast music and not mention game. And it's a impossible. historian, for what it's worth. Right. Like he's always paid homage to the people that came you're before. Gonna, oh, hold before. on, right. so I, you're going to piss off LeBron James. He is not a hip hop historian. <laughs> I just don't. I just don't understand why he would continue to go these routes, though. So when you say that, let me get into his his mind for a little bit. Game has been Instagramming. Is rap this soft? I said what I said. The hip hop I come from, you can say whatever the fuck you want to say without anybody getting their panties in a bunch. That's what he's saying, and he hadn't been the only one to say that. Quite a few people have echoed that. Maybe not in this moment, but okay. period. So, is there any validity there? Maybe I just thought. I it mean, was that was a common conversation with the push shit. Yeah. I guess with the shit he said. Yeah, I just thought it was interesting that Kanye, you know, in his, in his record a while, he said, "I know it's some corny niggas you wish you could unswallow." You know what I mean? And it, and it's just funny now that years later, game would, you know, bring this up. So I mean, obviously. It's, people move on, man, and, and my, th- my only problem with game is it's like, dog, you a legend, man. Like you got to start walking like a legend, you got to start talking like a legend, you got to start acting like a legend. Acting like like this yeah. is this is like, fam, you don't need to do that. And then and then on, on a bigger scale, this, this is not G man, shit. This ain't man shit. I can't I can't look at you and see G. I can't look at you and see I, man. No, we, we know you get pussy. I know game gets pussy. This wait, isn't news to me. Like I, but game that's is why, but so game I just don't understand know where he going get, with it. Like fam, we know we know you fucking. But that's why, man. Hold up, more because. The newer guys today. And why do you care that we care? But wait, hold up, Roy. The newer guys today. Today, that is a thing where niggas use women as. Well, that's always been a thing. Yeah. <laughs> niggas use women as assets and and signs of power and respect and and all of that shit. Mm. So that is a thing, right? Mm. This is just off. It's different. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. To me, man, See, I, I come. It's, I come it's from, disapp- game is not from that era. That's the point that I'm trying to make. But like, he is though. He is. No, no I'm, ta- like, I'm talking about. He kind of. Wait, I'm talking about today. Started that era. How? Nah, what era? No, he didn't. What era are you talking he about? He didn't start any. He didn't start the this. younger of talking about the women shit, like with the Maya thing with him and Fifty. Like they kind of. Are you talking about with songs? With songs yeah. like uh, and more Melissa wanna, Ford being broke, driving a Honda Accord. Yeah, and all like this I think he kind of helped start that. And more, it's funny. I had the same debate in my head today about my rap heroes doing that shit, and I thought about the J. Nas battle when he talked about his baby mother and the condom shit mm-hmm. and I was battling with that of like alright am I taking my Jay bias out of this cause Jay did do that too but that was to a, some degree but that was a battle and that's why they people, were engaged in a battle yeah and that's why some people I agree. felt but like wait, he lost that's that that's where I but tried wait, to and, hold let, and let me give Jay a little bit of credit because I left condoms on your baby seat there is some type of wit and cleverness and shock value in that right. I had sin ripping the buttons off of my shirt I don't want to hear buttons I'm, with me no more. I'm, I am a little sick of that bar. I don't want to hear buttons no more. Dead. Nigga, be creative. Don't just shock me to death. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just a disappointment. Man, but no, I don't need to be doing that. Back to my point. I do think that that era started in, what was that, 2002 or 2003, Four. of just throwing in out. women into the verses. And I think Game was one of the first people to start that. Hmm. Okay. I don't think he should do it in 2019. Oh, I agree. I think he's, that should, I think that should be reserved for some of the newer acts. He's around Probably our age. 36, 37, yeah. I would imagine. I would like to hear Famous Dex tell somebody that, you know, 39. what's the girl? He's Tatiana, 39. you know, all these young, the young people are doing this. They're trading girls. They're showing the girl. And, and, and let me just say, because we do have a platform, so let me just put out the, fellas, it is never cool to just talk about and expose chicks that you sleep Hell with just no. for shock value. That's, there's nothing cool about that. But That's let me, probably let, let me, the most corny thing you can do. But let's take it a step further than that. Game game has already had uh, some type of sexual harassment claims filed against him in a lawsuit to which he lost. Mm, I didn't know that, but... Yeah. That whole, that whole thing that, from, yeah. from the game TV show where yeah. Shorty came... And I'm not saying oh, it's true shit. or false. I don't yeah, know, yeah, but, okay. but it happened. <laughs> mm. It happened. So that's one. Game has pictures laying up in the park with his finger up underage girls. That happened. Yeah. That happened. Yeah. 
that's who game that's that's who I know game that's who the game that I've seen on Instagram is social media <laughs> right. this is what game put put online right. where was I going on this oh I'm just talking about the person we talking about <laughs> that person should stay far away from topics like this is what I'm saying for his benefit not for mine not for yay's not for anyone else's he should want to stay far away from it. He didn't even want to pay the money when he lost the suit. <laughs> yeah. So now WAC 100 is saying, hey, if anybody denies these allegations, we're going to leak the tape. Fam, I dare you. I dare you leak a tape. I don't even know shit to be true or false. I ain't spoke to sin. She say go high. Man, fuck that. I dare you to leak some shit. Watch me find New York Lisa Bloom. But even, but it's just, I, I, you know, I, I what just type of suit you gonna wear? <laughs> I, just I, I wish know. this nigga, well, I ain't playing with none of but, you niggas. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? But deeper than that, why? Even, but even so, why? why mom. We're saying why. I don't, I don't get it, man. I, I don't get it. It's all marketing. <laughs> yeah, but it's different marketing. You can market differently, man. This oh, ain't. no, I agree. It just, it's like, it's disgusting marketing, but it's marketing. We're talking about there's it right a, now. There's actually dope ways to market now. I agree. Like really cool ways of marketing. Yeah. We we've seen it with Dreamville. Yeah, like, yeah nigga, saying, go in, go go insta live with one of your friends. <laughs> go go do a split screen like the kids are doing. <laughs> <laughs> that's the new shit. You that's know, the new, just, that's the new feature. The split screen on, on IG Live is the new uh feature. It's inter- it's interesting to me because I feel like every way that Nipsey is moving and, and maneuvering out here right now, I feel like it's what games should be doing. Like I feel like the way Nipsey has worked his way into a conversation, into the upper echelons, no, well, we into the upper echelons of you know the circles in the industry. Grammy nominated. Yeah, like, but I just I, I feel like that's game could should and could be that. The game is his OG. This is what I'm saying. So it's like, like in I, music, you know right? In the music world, yeah, yeah. So I'm just you know, but it, but you can just tell Nipsey has his demeanor is more cool, more laid back, more you know. I'm not doing that. Like I'm gonna go this way, and he's always had dope ways of marketing. Yeah, he's probably had some of the dopest ways of marketing yeah. in music, Facts. like Hell yeah. ever. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So it's just like you know, game should he should just. I mean, I don't know their relationship, but he should talk to Nip, and they should try to you know what I mean because. I look at game like that. Like he's that talented. He he's makes that great dope. music. He makes great. He has classic albums. He has. Yeah. It's just like, fam, you should be doing. Yeah. Some that's phenomenal that's shit. It's, it's so like, funny you mentioned that. Do you remember the documentary that the DVD that came with the album? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was game. Right. Game was this cool. Right. Like. L.A. dude the yeah. whole time. He went to different hoods, like Crip hoods. He was yeah. cool there. He came, to, like, he came he was, to the Bronx and was playing ball. Like, he was cool. He spent most of <laughs> his time in New York. Yeah. He was just cool. Like, he didn't seem extra. He wasn't doing nothing out of the necessary. Like, he was just a cool motherfucker in that. And yeah, I'm only speaking I, from the DVD because I, I was this, a kid, this move but, is, but, this is, but this is the saddest part of it all. Outside of us talking about it, don't nobody get fucked by the song. <laughs> And that's the, and that's the the other part. It's like that's why I'm like, but why? Because it's not moving the needle at all. That's why I don't understand. It's like when a girl posts a nude, it, it moves and the her followers jump up day. like twenty followers. It's like okay, <laughs> now, you now move what? the needle. Like now it's what? like you jumped out there, you did right. that. Now what? Yeah, this is you. This is y'all trying to fucking uh, push the media outlets to talk about some shit. That's the same thing as me reading all this shit about a bidding war for Tanaja. Same thing. <laughs> But it's like Chill, people. she got a hive now. I didn't even know. And then people have families now, man. It's, that, that's the bigger thing. No, I don't think so. I don't know. I just don't. I don't know. Well, Kim that's has, Kim has a daughter. You know, he has Kim, daughters. He has the game has he kids. He like everybody got has kids. It's, it's a, it's a daughter. It's a different play now. You got to run a different play. Got yeah, to. and 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 wait, and 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 in his defense, let me be fair for a minute. I don't think he's really been in America lately. I think he's been away. He may not know that that is the climate over here right now. He has Instagram still and Twitter. And he, I, that I he's know, active in. I don't know. How Game is active, active he is online. Game is active online. Is, and back, let's double back to the point of us saying you at your age needs to kick knowledge. I know that's kind of like a cliche phrase, but I, I think Game at, at 39, everything he's been through and done it better than a lot of rappers his age, Yeah, I would love to hear a mature album from Game. Yeah. That would be a dream for me. After his whole discography, everything you went through, give Rory, me a mature game album. You asking for a mature game album from an immature game. 
we're speaking hypothetically the same way he was saying about he should act more like Nipsey. Yeah, but off of the off of the uh, kick knowledge thing, probably more important is for us to act knowledgeable. That was a bar. And we just not <laughs> we just are not seeing that from game, and that's probably where the disappointment comes from as a fan of his ability. Like okay, so even, I, even with me and mine included in all of this mess, I, I'm still able to observe it as mess. Objectively, is what I'm saying. Let, let me <laughs> let me quickly shoot game some bail. From what I I'll fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> from what I've heard from credible people that have been in those sessions outside Great album. of outside of that record. Great album. There's records on there about his relationship with his father that we all know has been rocky recently with his passing. There's a mature game album in there. In here somewhere you said. I have a question. In, in all the records that they have in that studio, there is a mature game album. I heard they I, was trying to not let this record come out at all. I have a question. Is this song like uh, Dreams or something like that? Like, Is it like a uh, just it's a, it's a put mad beat. names? In well, a record, game, game shit has always been naming names. No, it's but the like game, name hypothetical game. sex situations with mad people, like oh, like a we can't Nikki say that. Or yeah. A, yeah, well, we can't say that because I can't prove that he did anything with Kim, and I can't prove that he did anything with Sin. Right. So I'm taking. Oh, I think Kim. I'm was, taking his word. I think Kim has admitted her past with Game. Because if this is I didn't just hear that. if this is just one of them, I never. Type of records, I've then... only heard her admit to friendship. Oh, Okay. Which I, is a woman's way of I saying I fucked him. I want to note that I don't pay attention to <laughs> but, anything right. the Kardashians really particularly do unless Maul is there. So <laughs> I, I can't say that's true. Yeah, Maul but if it's wild. one of those type Maul, of records. Don't go over there again. I don't, <laughs> then it's whatever. Yeah, if it's one of those, then there's uh, obviously, yeah. No, but, it ain't. It ain't whatever then either. It ain't whatever, period. No, but people have, rappers have made those type of records. Right. Dreams of fucking R&B chick. Exactly. Know, so the, what, that, that mean I have to understand it? Well, it... You you kind of take it differently because you know it's just a dream. I don't. I'm not personalizing it now, so I don't take it different. Right. If I take it the same I, exact I will. way, I will. I will. If it's just like one of those type of records, then it's like okay, yeah. But if he's talking about real, you know, interactions that he's had with women, like he's really exposing his relationships with women throughout throughout the years, then I have a problem with that. It's like, come on, man. yeah. But if it's just dreams of fucking R and B chick or whatever that type or of like shit, like Nikki did with people, even though they may have been in a relationship right. or married, and, or, and right. we know that Nikki was not fucking every rapper. Right, that day. we know that it's right. just right. for fun. Right, I don't think that this is the case. Right. at all. Mm-hmm. Well, Game is saying that you don't have to think. Game <laughs> yeah. is saying, "Yo, if you t- if you tell me I'm lying and I'll leak some shit." <laughs> That's Damn, true. nobody cares. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Niggas don't give a fuck. I don't know why. I just. I don't know. I thought game was a little better than that. I thought like, I would think some, so too. Some niggas know, like every time you see Trey songs, <laughs> he gonna tell you, "Hey, I get bitches, you get bitches, everybody get bitches." That's the end, and it, you appreciate it, <laughs> right? Yeah, man. But like, you know, you know what you do is get. Know. It's like yeah, we know what like, y'all doing what, out here, what man. The like, fuck? yeah, like we ain't gotta put that on. And Lori though. Harvey, I'm sorry, this was ages ago. I'm not talking about recently. Yeah, like dude, like, this ain't you know. It's just like why? What? I, I ain't trying to they jam nobody up. I'm not trying to jam nobody. Listen, she might hear this podcast. Step right to that nigga in the bathroom. Yeah, old Joe Button said, "Nope, <laughs> don't do that with me." Um, well, yeah, let's. This isn't a Gap Band moment, but let's have some more fun. That looks too serious there this for a second. Not a thing. I'm going to piss. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing Gap Band about them. Been a great mood. It's been a great fucking day. Actually, let's play some great. A lovely day. Oh, hold up, man. Before we, before we say something, <laughs> before we say something, this, this is me saying something while Joe finds. Yo, what is your shirt, man? I'm playing one of I'm playing one of your aux core aux core classics. Hold up. I've never played this record. Yes, you have. Shut up. Look at the Bill Withers in my in my (laughs) iTunes. I don't have this record. Oh, you racist. That's true. Why didn't you play Bill? Don't talk. You don't got no Bill Withers in your Serato. I do. I don't. You ain't got no Bill in your Serato. I don't have this Bill Withers song. How many other billboards? There's, 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 there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. Yeah, relax. Oh, see? There's a lot. Parks. See how it switches? Parks. Right. What the hell? That's my Roberta Flack argument, though. Because I play the B-side. But there's only like... I play there's B-side Billwithers. Of the Billwithers Flack- songs that you have to have, this is at the top of the list. Of course. That's all I'm saying. Roberta Flack got two songs. Uh, Outside she of got, her. No, she got albums. No, she had albums with five other popping artists that well, you Well, that's loved. true. But still. <laughs> how do you guys she feel? She was the duet queen. Yeah, well. How do you guys feel about uh, Bernice signing autographs? She in, should. I'll in take 2019. one. Long overdue. I'll take one. Yeah, today. She signed Moleskin before. 
my skin. <laughs> this chest. <laughs> I like Bernice on my chest. I think this is dope that no one's taking a picture with Bernice. I think this is great. I was she there. Signed she saw my chest. You asked. I asked. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Why was your chest exposed? No, it wasn't until he said right here. He pulled out the until he said right here. She was like, "Where?" He hasn't did showered you, since. Right Wait, here. Did, did you pull down the collar or yeah, did you pull if up? If you pull the collar down, that's nasty. <laughs> no, up might be nasty. All right. <laughs> You Pulling your shirt up is yeah. gross. Nah, because once you stretch the collar, that's it. So. Whatever, man. Yeah, but it's for Bernice. <laughs> you want to roll with this one? <laughs> oh, nah, he's definitely shirt up, man. <laughs> don't nobody poop. Wait. <laughs> no, you shirt up, man. Right, I'm, just asking, nah, I'm not talking about me. I'm just <laughs> asking. Y'all don't pull your tank top over your head no more. Y'all nah, stop. Y'all, stop. Don't Never. Tank y'all don't do that when the sex y'all is kill me for, Y'all kill nah. me for wearing socks and you still pull a tank top over your head? I, I do just that to let her know that I could, I could get Tarzan. <laughs> <laughs> it's something really wrong with this dude, man. Wait, when the tank top go over the head over instead the of head. off, it make you feel wild strong. Oh, yo, like right here. I got my it shit. Make, it make your shit sit up a little bit. Like you be kind of lightweight feeling. Like you been yo, in the gym. That's yeah. when I get shoulders yeah. on them. Yeah, nah, I don't do that. Oh, anymore. when I get shoulders, the sex is great. Nah, I don't do that no more. Thanks, bro. My sex is trash. That's, a young, that's a young boy move. When I don't hit the shoulders on For sure. On what? The, 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 uh, the tank top? top? That's, that's what I do it when the, with the trash dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that one second of illusion <laughs> Tricker? to yeah. make you oh, feel oh, like, oh, about oh he crazy. about to go ham. Oh, wait, why he? Oh, oh, <laughs> damn. Oh, wait, why? Damn. <laughs> damn, that's crazy. <laughs> that is the other reason that niggas stay in relationships, by the way. So you can give the old dick Tarzan You know you can't get out In the streets With your new trash dick (laughs) (laughs) Viagra says otherwise You trying to lure Somebody in With the trash dick (laughs) These chicks is mad Judgmental now They're gonna tell you I'm cool (laughs) I'm cool Word Chicks chicks will tell you About yourself now They used to not Tell you about yourself Nah they only tell you About yourself when they Mad at you That's why I don't Even fuck no more Fuck that you're gonna tell me about <laughs> that's, that's your plan. Yeah. He's Listen, a great bro. talker. <laughs> they just gonna say, "Yeah, why he, he is, not fucking?" He has great conversation. <laughs> Can really off trust about him. him. They ain't gonna say he trash. <laughs> nah, just stop fucking. That's it. Yeah, props to my baby. You <laughs> <laughs> right. Put, putting oh up this God. bullshit. Um. All right. What else is in put Takashi six nine? Uh, it is reported that he is cooperating with the federales. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. That was just a quick clip from the interrogation room of yeah. him singing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> some, he was some, exclu- some exclusive nigga, audio that I have. And the nigga was singing he away. Was, <laughs> but they gave him the Sprite and the cigarette? You know, once a nigga get that Sprite and that cigarette. Like, Listen, I, uh, man. I'm a tell. I'm a yeah. tell. <laughs> look, yo, look what it takes for a dude to tell. Give me a cig and a sprite. <laughs> Niggas start telling everything once that sprite and cig come. Don't let Can him I- get you real food. Crab legs and shit. Oh, he done told on Ed, crab legs in the interrogation room. We all how quick could jail. you get the crab legs? To the, to it the don't matter. Room. Once they show up, you know what happened. What would you want your last meal to be on death row? I've thought about that before. Why? What's wrong with y'all? Do y'all got something going on? I don't know about. <laughs> Why no, but I have thought about your last meal on death I watch Rogan. a lot of crime think, documentaries yeah, and shit. I, I think about things. I'm not. I've never thought about it. But <laughs> think, think about it. My favorite. Let's say. Let's say you get a death chair at noon. You gonna go with breakfast or dinner? At noon, like I'm out. They killing me. At I just noon? said that. Nigga. Steak and eggs. I'm doing brunch. If they fuck the eggs up. I ain't trying to die. <laughs> That'd be my big thing. Bad man. eggs nah, we gotta and go then French death. toast. We gotta go French toast. Can't fuck French toast up. I'll yeah, die. I I'll die with some bread. Side. I'll take some bread. I'll do some grits. Jesus had bread. I'll do some grits and some 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 salmon. Okay, croquettes. I've thought about this further than y'all have. If I'm doing Fed time and you send me to Kentucky, I don't know if that the grits are good there. I don't know if Kentucky. What, yeah, I don't know what's got, good there. They got I'm not ordering. I can't grits say. I can't say for my last meal. I have to know what state I'm in. Like if I'm in New York. Where Even was, then, I'll be upstate. Parks, I don't know what's Parks, good. Where we was at that time? I, I tried to order some corned beef hash. That was Dallas. <laughs> I, I wouldn't order corned beef hash. In Dallas. <laughs> I you know, corned beef hash is looked at like as like a poor meal. Did you know? Yeah. that? Yeah, I never knew that. I yeah. grew I grew up poor, really, from my mom's side, which is crazy because that's the one son. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I never knew corned beef hash was uh, like that. I, I say this 
I don't want the Irish people to get mad. A lot of Irish food is peasant food. Yeah, it is. Mm, okay, yeah. got you. I'm Irish too. Why? Explain that to me, please. Corned beef and I, I cabbage. Don't know. Uh, I don't know what Irish food is, and I don't know why it would be viewed. Corned beef and food. cabbage, shepherd's corn pie. Corned beef is great. Wait, y'all claim that Irish people? Yeah, it's come Irish. Food. Sh- come yeah. on, oh, no, shit. black people. Done. We with you. What you want? <laughs> no, we want to <laughs> relate on the corned beef. Yeah, I will say. I don't understand how racism exists. <laughs> the we can just have some corned beef and cabbage. <laughs> Just cook a great meal. We'll all come together. Share that, yo, the Irish niggas are going to share the corned that beef. Rice rice could bring the whole world. Rice and weed could bring the whole world together. Absolutely. And some corned beef. Rice apparently. and weed. Yeah. Word. We That's just, all it takes. Fucking yeah. stupid yeah. white people were stuck on this cotton. Yo, I will say, <laughs> my heart sunk because Irish people don't have a lot of like <laughs> delicacies. Mm-hmm. When I went to my Jamaican friend's house and had better corned beef, I was pissed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I they was so the pissed. They do the corned beef better. Yo, niggas was hype over some cotton. What you mean? <laughs> hype? Joe. Who was hype? <laughs> this was not hype over cotton, man. What's wrong with you? The white, white people was the whites. whites were hype. The whites was wild for the cotton. White what are people. You talking about? Hey, we gotta talk about the stock that white people put in the cotton. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking I mean, Q tip, nigga. I, for what it's worth, we all are wearing cotton. It's a breathable every fabric day. every day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen, I hate to be the guy, but it's a very important uh, part of our fabric. You, you don't deserve to be dark skinned. <laughs> what you mean? Yo, Joe you, is you holding like, some resentment. Yeah. <laughs> Joe want to be dark skinned. No, I'm showing it to you. It's on a pedestal. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, he wanted to be dark skinned. I framed my resentment. <laughs> yeah, he wanted to be dark skinned. <laughs> Takashi, I don't know why this is news to anybody. I told y'all nine months ago that this kid was snitching. Yeah. I told y'all however many, whenever that was that we talked about this shit, that the judge wasn't played with him. That's what it means when you tell somebody to go sit up for uh, a year. They say, yo, you come back in a year. September 9th, let's talk to you and figure it out. Mm-hmm. Um, right? Then what happened? Something else happened that made me, oh, then uh, Shadi came to the courtroom and said we ain't never snitching. He was talking to Takashi. That's what I thought. <laughs> this shit has been weird the whole time, man. Anybody that knows that, not knows, but... Uh, has a good understanding of Daniel and, and his position. Actually, where's my phone? The streets is not for everybody. It's certainly not for me. Uh, I'm not cut from that fabric. I'm not going to do anything and trade 10 years of my life in jail. Mm-mm. I am not. Yeah. Um, I don't think Daniel will either. I didn't think yeah. that then. I didn't think that with gut, gummy, duffy, bummy, dummy, all of the fucking gum boy, gummy, gum, gummy boy, gummy beers. I didn't think that with any of the well, songs. Gummy bears out of this. Gummy bears are great. That's fucked up. Yeah. Um, I didn't think that with any of the songs that was popping, the Tory song, any of the songs. I just never thought that he was cut from that cloth. And here we are. I believe every word of it because Rory told me this before Double XL did. Uh, we didn't break the story because we real niggas and I wasn't going to snitch on a snitch. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gonna snitch and tell y'all that the snitch was snitching. Right, yeah, right. I wasn't gonna do it, but but we knew. Once they moved him from that Fam. building, I mean, we, we no. We, we, when we, they we moved you info, from MDC again, I came on here and talked about how MDC is a safe place, and you can't even leave the fucking house unless the guards know every miller centipede of uh, your moves. You can get you just brunch. Can't. You can get brunch next to MDC. You just can't. You just can't do it. So yeah. if they're moving you from there, it says something. It says something to me anyway. To me anyway. So where does that leave us in all of this? Takashi telling somebody called me and asked me. Uh, I'll let them remain anonymous. If this if this is the biggest case of a major artist turning state. Lil' mm. Kim took the stand, never told. Martha Stewart took the stand, never told. <laughs> Who else took the stand, never told? A few niggas took the stand and never uh, told, never Pac, told. Pac to a degree. Pac. Yeah, did, he didn't tell. Pop Can didn't tell. I don't know. <laughs> like, did, I, After Pac, I just, Pop Can. I don't think Pop Can. Pop Con? Got, got he, arrested. He wouldn't tell if he did. Though. I agree with you. He wouldn't tell. Meek was just with him. And I want no beef <laughs> with any of you them. You think he would tell? Sure Meek wouldn't take a picture with him if he would tell. <laughs> to everyone that's part of that camp, we are just joking around. Everyone relax. <laughs> I think this is the wrong people we should be talking oh, yeah, about. They'll, they'll kill us. That, that's why I'm trying to get a disclaimer. For a podcast, my nigga. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm yes. that guy. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Hundred yes. percent for a podcast. Yes. You was talking, right? That is. You was that, talking. Yo, that, I'm that That's guy. Yo, my nigga, you, you over the talking, podcast right? word, yeah. word, the Glock. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, y'all you know I mean, doing the yeah. Spotify thing. <laughs> yeah, you gonna do the Spotify <laughs> thing on you? Spotify, Spotify, Spotify put a little thing. bug in the left corner to yeah. get these streams. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna just kill me. Yeah, that's fucked up. Nah, man, nah, it, it's unfortunate though, but we knew what was coming. We knew what was happening, and it's just let this be a lesson, man. I mean, it's not gonna be a lesson. It's it won't not, be. Probably it won't, it'll, it'll be. It'll, it'll be the worst. Honestly, lesson. though, that's the sad part about it. It'll is be that the it opposite. won't be a lesson. It won't be. That's the sad part about all of this shit. It won't be a lesson. What did I say two years ago on this podcast? My biggest fear with Takashi is that all the kids are gonna see this and think this is how I should do this. Mm-hmm. This will be the way to my stardom. Mm-hmm. And I still think even with him getting arrested. And him going through all this shit, they're still not going to learn. They're still going to be like, well, at least my, he's still on the blogs. <laughs> my conspiracy well, blogs theorist, obsessive line. and compulsive brain. Uh, if I believe that, if I believe that, not if I believe, if the doc said that that uh, Hollywood started in conjunction with the mobs mm-hmm. and that they worked in conjunction with the police. My brain today tells me, why do I believe music is any different? Especially when I look at who owns all of the major labels. Uh, So when you think about that further, it's really, really, really sad when you think about a Bobby Schmurder who they were investigating, but the labels picked up and he had a hit and he ran off with his hit and he locked his ass up, not even a hit later. Mm -hmm. Um... I recently was informed about Blueface and his alleged uh, highway shooting in L.A. This is YouTubeable stuff. I'm old and washed, so I didn't know. Uh, but I'm seeing that. Apparently, there's a case there, and Blueface is hot as fish grease right now. Shout out to WAC 100 yet again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know what's going to happen there, but here's another, yet again, another hot young, talented black rapper who's fighting a case. Mm. And here we go with Takashi, who, you know, to me struck me as a kid who was battling an an identity crisis and just trying to find his way as as most 15, 16-year-olds do. Uh, And as soon as you start winning, they nab you. I, I can't prove what I'm alluding to. But there's some sick shit happening in the music business. Mm. There's sick shit happening in the world. And if we don't recognize it, if we don't talk about it, if we don't begin to make changes, then how will the music business be better for our children? The same way Killer Mike asked Envy, how could the working class's children feel better about the public school system moving forward? Like... How could the working class uh, parents feel good about what their their kids are going through or what their kids' kids will go through? It's the same thing I say about music. Like, I don't have time to beef with game over who he fucked or didn't fuck because my kid does music. I do music. My youngest son appears like he will do music. He's grabbing microphones at 14 months old. Right. We won't be here, but immortality is through our children. My fight is for what I'm leaving them. Mm. And in music, if you look at this Takashi shit, if you look at this Bobby Shmurda shit, if you look at all the cases that are a bit similar to this, if you look at all the young black aspiring entrepreneurs that y'all never even heard of that were brutally murdered last year, you'll come away with a different perspective of what's going on and who's pushing it, the powers that be. That's... That's kind of what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Uh, And because I've been privy to some of this stuff, it's really disturbing to me. So I'm going to pray for Daniel Hernandez. I'm going to pray for his family. I'm going to pray for his children's mom who keeps doing interviews. Give me the uh, cord, Rory. Let me just pan to her. I say on this podcast all the time that a hit record record, uh, feeds a million families. This is the phone one. I say all the time that a hit record feeds a million families. 
So look at the success that that kid was having. He has kids from multiple women. They now have no form of, I won't say no form of income, but not the same form of income. Like when we look at the effect that this stuff has on black households or house or minority households, it's a little disturbing. Um, let me play this clip really quick, if quickly, if I can find it. His child's ma- mother, one of them, uh, did a TMZ interview. For me, it was sad. I hope she got paid for it. For a TMZ interview? Yes. Probably not. I hope she's getting paid for these things. For, for a TMZ interview? Yeah. Probably, yeah. Not. probably not. Everything I save, I don't see. <laughs> Anyone that has pertinent information should be getting paid for these interviews. Yeah. There's no way you should go when they hit you to be like, yeah, all right, I'd love to talk about it. Everything that everyone's waiting for to hear from me. I I don't see. Yeah, it. you should be getting paid for these. I don't right. see it, but basically what how many what clicks, she said in I mean, a nutshell was how much money TMZ is going to make. I don't know. You know that. I don't know that their audience really knows that. Like, I don't know if I can knock the girl. Like she's trying to get her story heard, and they probably called her. TMZ calls a lot of people. I don't, I don't know. I won't get into that, the business side of somebody wanting to get their story heard. But basically what she was saying was you made your bed, you have to lie in it. And shit is hard now, but I'm going to do what I got to do. And I felt I felt for the young lady. Mm. It's always, a, you know, it, it's never just the person that's locked up. It's always the families that, you know, you got to remember. And he has a young kid and, you know, it's just sad, man. He's a he's a he's, he's a, a young kid. kid. Yeah, he's a kid. So with like, young kids. Kid. Yeah. Kids having kids, raising kids. Yeah, it's scary. Say something while I find out standing. Well, I mean, I hate to see it be recycled because I really think that Takashi's father passing kind of made him try to fit in. Mm-hmm. And I think everything that he's done to this point that got him in this jam was trying to fit in. Mm. His father passed when? Early in his life that he was close with. Got it. So I think it now it's, it's, a, do it. it's a scary situation now that his child might be in the exact same position. It's a cycle. Yo, the men trying the, to it, fit it, in now. Cycle, cycle, yes. Cycle. Yes. The men that didn't have dads uh, to instill some shit in them, to, inf- inf- to just arm them with some tools. I'm probably one I'm probably one of those people. My dad didn't come till 14, so I just picked up a lot of things from outside of the household is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Like you're going to learn some shit from somewhere. It don't mm-hmm. have to be your dad. And moms as as great of a job as single parents do, single mothers do is such a difficult job. There's some shit that dads give. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. That men need, that boys need. Yeah. Let me turn up. Let me turn up. Man. It's so <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's funny you say that because whether on paper you're stupid or you're dumb, your brain is going to retain things. Mm. So whether that be from a male figure in your household or outside, you're going to retain some shit no matter what. Right. I don't care how stupid or smart you are. You and, know, and, and here you are, maybe not having that father. Probably gonna find some dumb shit. <laughs> Well most, of no the, guidance. well, most of the guys you look at that you think are is an idiot, uh, if you ask them about their family background, a dad might not have been there the same way. Uh, unfortunately, when we speak about a lot of women who may move in a certain fashion, mm-hmm. it's related to their, uh, maybe their dad not being there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or, mother, or, mother just, or just a parent missing. Yeah, yeah. A yeah. parent missing from the household. Yeah. Which is why... I put a lot of credence into this Takashi topic. Because mm. regardless of what, you're a parent mm-hmm. with kids uh, and you had a viable means to take care of not only your kids, but their parents, your parents, everybody. I hit records, feeds a million, feed a million families. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So my heart goes out to uh, everybody in that situation. Extremely unfortunate. Uh, prayers. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm just saying a prayer, man. I'm just saying a prayer because it's sad shit. Yes. Yes. Everybody involved they, They're not playing with us We've Got to wake up At at all And listen they, they 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 gave us Some of music For us to make a way For ourselves And not have to do Those things mm-hmm. So like I just feel bad When people make a way For themselves And that's the only way That they know 
or it's the only way that they learn. Uh, Because I won't even get into how he acquired some of these things. Nature versus nurture. Let's move on before I get sad. Uh, Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Something else. Hit him with a dummy (laughs) side. That's a big side. A looped, a looped dusty dummy side. (laughs) Yo, I've been coming in here for however many weeks saying that Porzingis hates the Knicks and nobody's paid me any mind. But I say, (laughs) I say, I say things for a reason. Right. I just say things to kind of allude to it, to hint to it. And mom, I'm specifically disappointed in you for not paying me any mind because you're our basketball what insider. You mean? I, I, so, so if I'm saying to you that Porzingis hates the Knicks, mm-hmm. I'm saying that because we're watching the game and the Knicks have one of the youngest squads in the league. Like all, a lot of their players are under 24. Mm-hmm. Like they're rebuilding. KP would be the veteran there, homegrown, we drafted, all of that shit. You want a max contract. I would assume that you would give the young Knicks players a high five or a dap, mm-hmm. <laughs> even when you're losing. <laughs> so when I watched all the Knicks games and he never spoke to anybody. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about in October. He was, he was, <laughs> does he speak English? Yes. yes. Oh, Hell yeah. <laughs> what? I don't like, know, I man. Fuck, yeah. I got I from Latvia or some shit. Yeah, he, he's from Latvia, but he has a lot of like sauce. He's hip hop head. Like he's he yeah. got sauce. Yeah. You know how many he's productive. Saucy Latvian, you know, you sure. know how many productive okay. conversations I've had with people that don't speak English. I've had a few. Probably you want me to tell you a story about English. some of my about some of my friends that fucked the girl that didn't speak English with the, the translation app? <laughs> <laughs> don't tell me about who don't speak English. That's yeah. true. That's true. Yeah, that's great. I tried to get it off too. I used that app all wrong. After your man, <laughs> <laughs> after your man tell you, you try to go do it. That's <laughs> like, yo, you want to eat? <laughs> yo, <laughs> like, <laughs> yo, who is this nigga talking? Yo, yo, yo you want to eat? <laughs> you want, are you thirsty? You want to eat? <laughs> yo, that's how I type. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I type. That's how I type. Nah, I know. That's my accent. But, but Porzingis was detached for. You could see it. I, I I didn't think the Knicks were going to move this fast. I didn't think they would get it done before the summer. That's the other thing. Stop for a second. So Porzingis goes and has a meeting with uh uh with the Knicks. Comes out. He starts and, and he him and his team. I'm so sick of him and his fucking brother. Get these niggas to fucking Dallas. Um, <laughs> they come out and start talking about how bad the meeting went. And then what? how they want to trade. Fifteen well, minutes later, later, it was done. <laughs> that nigga was gone in the next five. Yeah. Which means that shit was. Already in motion well before on, they didn't make that man. trade in 15 yeah, they minutes. They knew. <laughs> the, only thing, the only thing I'm, I'm kind of confused about is the Knicks traded him for somebody they could have drafted. That well, the Knicks well, have no, done that man. Well, times. let's highlight. <laughs> let's highlight the Knicks being the Knicks. Yeah. Forget about forget <laughs> about that. Mm-hmm. Tim Hardaway Jr. I'm not off it. Mm-hmm. Gave him that money. They drafted him. They yeah. traded him. him up. They gave brought him all that they, money. They brought him back <laughs> for him. seventy million. Yeah, and, and then had to get rid of him quickly. I told you before this season started that the only way to get rid of, rid of uh, Tim Hardaway and Courtney Lee Packers was to trade for Zingas. You told yeah. me I was nuts. I didn't want him here. Yeah, I did not want him here. I don't want no nigga here. His brother been telling been telling us that they getting him the fuck out of here a, over a year ago. Mm-hmm. I don't want no nigga on my team that I got to keep talking to his brother. <laughs> I don't talk to my brothers. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's stupid. He's not one here from Porzingis, his brother, for a nigga that ha- has not played 50 games. Could be a good guy. Come on, man. You cannot defend this shit, more. Yo, Dallas, no, got mean, like three, one, Dallas got like three Larry Birds right now. Dallas is going to be a three? very tough team. <laughs> yeah. They're what gonna, three? Dirk. Dirk is 70. Whatever. Larry Bird was 70 when he when he was 20. Oh, you think Harrison Barnes is Larry Bird? Shut up. <laughs> you think Harrison Barnes? <laughs> Joe, you're Larry Dallas, Bird now. Dallas, yeah. Dallas, Dallas no, 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 is no, 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 a very no, no, dangerous no, no, no. team. No, I don't want to talk about Dallas because KP and Luka, yeah, gonna, yes, that's a dangerous it's a go. Yeah. But that's the only reason I'm mad at the Knicks, that they traded him somewhere that he wanted to go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He'd been sucking Luka dick since way back. He was the only nigga telling us how real he was. No, 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 I played against him. He's real. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's, He's nice. He told us. I believed him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, man, I'm so sick of KP. But but we do know as a, as Knicks fans, I mean, they sh- y'all have something to be happy about. Y'all, obviously, the rebuild is in. I'm super happy. Swing. Listen, I, swing. I'm not as savvy as y'all are with basketball. I'm I felt like happy. I was the only person on the timeline that thought this was a good thing, just out of logic. It's a good thing for them. It's a great, it's a great thing. thing. It's a great. I'm speaking I don't, on logic, you got two not max on slots. basketball knowledge. You like, got two max slots, and you'll get a top five pick. The pundits were killing the Knicks. Like I was arguing with one of them niggas last night. Like I just don't understand how you kill the Knicks. This has been the best. 
best position position the Knicks have been in since Donnie Walsh. Yeah. Contrary to Knicks, Nick fans believe Donnie Walsh did a great job. He just got fucked. Mm-hmm. He created cap space, and y'all gave it to Joe Kim Noah and and Phil Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he worked. did create the cap space, and Steve Mills is not bad either. Derek but Rose too. not when you with Phil and you under all that. So here you go. That's another reason I don't fuck with KP. Brand new coach, coach we love. Players coach, coach with amazing relationships around the league. Let's put him to the side. Brand new black GM with great relationships around the league. You ain't even give these niggas a shot. Yeah. Mm. You hated Phil. <laughs> I think part of it too was KP, uh, KP wasn't sure if. He knew the Knicks Ma- wasn't going to give him Max. No, he knew the Knicks weren't going to give him Max, and he didn't know if a Max player was coming. He wasn't. He wasn't sure. He wasn't one hundred percent sure. But the good thing about Knicks fans, which what they should know, is DeAndre Jordan and Kevin Durant are really close friends. Kevin Durant named uh, KP the unicorn. Yeah. KP it's a fitting nickname. KP has not read any of the newspapers that say Durant wants to come. I mean, you can say whatever you want, but it's like he maybe he didn't feel like I, no, anybody. No, no, I, well, more. hold on. There, Amazing player. I can't want him here. You no, appear no. a little too soft for New York. He's gone. I'm talking about looking forward. Mentally. DeAndre Jordan and Kevin Durant are really close friends. I've always liked DeAndre Jordan. Royale Ivy, who's on the on the Knicks coaching staff, and Kevin Durant are really good friends. No, Durant watched, is here. I'm looking at Kyrie, the second one. We just watched Kyrie act like he was playing for the Knicks tonight in the Celtics jersey. That's Listen, attack, in, a ba- so. in a best case scenario, if the Knicks had Durant, Kyrie and Zion, then we still don't do nothing for at least another two years. So no, I mean, no, it's true. I'm, so I'm not really sweating it right this second. Yeah. But it's, it's a fun. great start. Yeah, great start. What, what's now, the, if we start with, with that, uh, KD and Kawhi, oh no, Kawhi's that's different. not coming. That's different. different. But I don't, I don't think he's coming. Either. Kawhi is not coming. I agree. No. I agree. I agree. I'm just talking. Um, shit. Well, no theory with, with what you're saying. If he had the knowledge of two max players coming, of course KP is going to want to leave. I'm but not, why? I'm, I'm not making no money. Yeah, if I think he was going to be a max player at one point, well, oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's no. no, no, no. I, that's the why the I said tell me if I'm wrong. Max him. Of course no, no, not. No, they weren't going to max. Him. If I'm KP and think once you I get off this injury, I'm going to be a max. And you got two max players coming in, I'm not going to get any bread that I deserve. Yeah, no. I agree. So I'm out of here. Mark Cuban's going to pay him, though. Now they want to give me Dennis Smith Jr. when I don't want him. <laughs> right? I wanted him two years ago. You could have drafted him. Not, not now that I've seen the turnovers. Yeah. That nigga come up to but court I, I, and just I, get other team to boy. Here, yo, yo, you want this? No, Wait, but I'm I, not Duncan. Chess pass. I do. <laughs> chess pass. No, but I do think he'll do well in New York. Man, me too, I with a few turnovers. Will. Yeah. That's my guy, though. Yeah. I didn't want to see Trey Burke leave. I Tough fucked with him. Yeah. Courtney Lee, Tim Hardaway Jr. Get the both of them niggas out of here and your dad. Tim as soon as we get well cancer out of here, I'm happy. Get him and his dad out of here. <laughs> Rory, right. What Rory said? <laughs> Nothing, bro. I want to hear Al, Al Ryan. <laughs> he, said, <laughs> he said, as soon as we get cancer out of here, I'll be happy. Yeah, I saw on the news that, that they may be close to coming up with a cure for cancer. Yeah, they're still some years away. <laughs> Wait, that was the segue? Because it rhymed? <laughs> oh, no, you said it. You said wait. He said cancer. <laughs> Canter. <laughs> oh, I thought he said cancer. Yeah, but shout out to the cure well, for cancer. cancer. No, we should. No, it's I coming. want. I want cancer to get out of here as well. No, Trump and Russia are going to arrest him. <laughs> cancer. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, you get him the fuck. You don't out like of here. cancer? I like him. You asking me? Fuck out of here. You. I like him. Yeah, I like him. Yeah, but he threatened the Russian people, and they they have issued a warrant for his arrest. Was it Russia or it his Turkey? Turkey, his, Turkey. his homeland. Yeah. There's a warrant. <laughs> yeah. I've had a few. I know how that works. Yeah. No. You think? Wait. Uh, you think Russia has warrants? No. no Russia's Russia, killing. No. Russia just come and get you. Like they don't. They don't there's no warrant. You know, yeah, fucking that's, warrant. That's the warrant. Yeah. Yeah. They're coming to get yeah. you. You'll come in for a minute so you die. <laughs> so you can die. Yeah, no. Sit down right no. here so we can kill you. Yeah. Come in. We have to ask you questions and kill you. Yeah. yeah. Here's, here's your court. Da- here's your court date for that execution. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sure. Nah. I'm cool. I'm sh- shout out to Russia. <laughs> shout out to Russia. <laughs> <laughs> the hackers in Russia. What's yeah, up? Word. I used to hate the way fucking Zangief's shit got announced. USSR. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're stupid. <laughs> no, nah, you're right. What that the- <laughs> he played way too many fucking Street Fighter games. Man. That was the worst one. <laughs> USSR. <laughs> Like, that was nigga, I'm about to kick his that ass. Was wild. He's He's trying, I'm about to fuck tries. Zangief up. <laughs> Tell me, get me out of USSR. Wow, Take me slow. to Vegas. <laughs> Vegas fence. <Yeah. laughs> Speaking of which, with Russian translations, anyone see Ariana Grande get a tattoo of her album and it actually meant Russian for a pot of shit or something? 
Oh, is that true? Somebody pull the article up. <laughs> I'm a, par- I'm a bad paraphrase she, she right now. She starts talking about God as a woman. She can't even get a right tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> See why God needs to just be a man? <laughs> All right, Joe. That's Yo, all edit you. point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Wait. Wait. I, that's Lip, wrong for saying that. Lipstick Alley coming for you, bro. <laughs> right on Lipstick Alley tomorrow. Oh, my. Come on, Ma. Don't hate. I am, I'm not hate, hating at all. <laughs> it's a good song Song of the year to me <laughs> Oh man Who did she take that run from? You I don't Who know. did she take that run from? Her pussy's good I'm telling you You can't say, you <laughs> can't right. say nothing like that And not have good pussy You right I'm Pete Davidson trying to still live his life He miss her Of course <laughs> He trying to be strong yeah. <laughs> You have a moment of weakness Pete we waiting for it. I think if Pete is doing fucking Saturday Night Live on Thursdays, <laughs> <laughs> he is trying to stay busy. God damn. Saturday Night Live on Thursdays. I've never seen Thursday. Thursday Night Live. <laughs> Thursday Night Live. That's Pete's right. trying to get it rocking. <laughs> and live from New York, it's yeah. Thursday night. Hey, <laughs> niggas is sleeping. I'm not thinking about her. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I know. So, that'd, yeah. be, that'd be fucked up when the chick that you really enjoy that thing leave you. <laughs> Heartbreaking And and she didn't warn you So the last time Y'all had sex You didn't know That was the last time Y'all would have sex Damn That happened to me once I ask again <laughs> I say <laughs> I, I ask say, again Hey You think that was right <laughs> Nah You better than me Cause I'd be like Yo that thing we did The last time Can we do that again Like One, one last more, time One more last time yeah, You left some you, you, you left some shit over here man. <laughs> oh, that's what I was about to, say. to the naive woman When I bring the shit back That means I'm trying to fuck For the last time yeah, for sure. <laughs> Or when you want closure <laughs> That closure sex is great the Closure, closure is the funniest word on Closure earth. means open it again How many times I got that off Let's just have sex One last time That's it oh That's what closure God. is for What <laughs> That's, That's when you pull out the good sex. <laughs> <laughs> try to get it what? back. Try to get it if back. This is closure <laughs> sex. Oh no! It's the, I'm crazy. throwing Yo, the, the tank top over my head. Socks are on. Tank top, is, tank top is over the shoulders. I'm stopped, keeping man. the Tims on for that one. Savon crying in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> how, many, how many edit points? How many edit points we got? Yeah. <laughs> Savon is over there texting his boo. <laughs> oh man! She did at the Super Bowl party. <laughs> Parts don't, don't bring up the bad things for Savon <laughs> Damn Savon Yo you sick hey, Phil That's for Savon Savon I would quit if I, I never want to hear these, <laughs> these piano keys when I'm sad <laughs> do, do, do. Brian McKnight is good for that do, 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 do. Think about your ex <laughs> That's what Kia was in? Yeah. <laughs> Hypnoti- hypnotize you with these sounds. <laughs> she was great. You were not. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> he was yeah. lying his yeah. ass off. Why niggas be lying? You definitely remember why you fell apart. You did the same shit five there. times. You was there. <laughs> You was there when the falling was happening. You did it more than once. She stormed out. Yeah. Hey, you told her to get the fuck out. <laughs> he definitely told her to get out. He looked like the type. Yeah, that's when you get sad, though. Yeah. You, you did it once you to test the waters, and it, it worked. Yeah. She didn't leave, yeah. so you kept doing it. And she finally left. I'm the king of getting sad after I tell her to get the fuck out. Because <laughs> <laughs> she's not. Why are you leaving? You ain't. <laughs> now you listen to me. If you leaving, fam. Come it's, on. It's like, oh, now you listen to a me. A word. Yeah, like, now you pay no. attention. <laughs> oh, now I knew you definitely wasn't the right one then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel better about myself then. Right. Uh, all right. And Save you on. don't. Save on. you good nigga looking at the screen. <laughs> <laughs> he has got to know what that is. He over there watching the Duke game. <laughs> <laughs> no, nigga, you Duke. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, she ain't want to have a Super Bowl party with this <laughs> night. No wings, nothing. Yeah. Hey, man, that's crazy. Wait, she said wait. no to the hey, Super Bowl for, party. Hey, for the listeners, Savon and his ex used to do this cool little thing <laughs> that we were all hoping to go to as well. Word. That was our Word. Super Bowl plans. Where she brought her friends. And he bought like a Biggie song. She yeah, bought her friends. Was, he bought his but, friends. And we could all be yeah. friends. They was all friends. It's watching the Super Bowl together. Not this year, but this year's over for that shit. And Slow. now I'm looking at Savon as a friend, like, all right, so now I can't get pussy from her friends because you <laughs> fucked everything up. <laughs> now I'm pissed. Right. I'm looking at Savon like, what did you do if 
Tom Brady and Todd Gurley can't get her over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a matchup, Dude, man. For real. <laughs> Damn, my nigga, it's over, over. Yeah. It's over, over? Yeah, they got CJ Damn. Anderson. Your girl don't even care about CJ Anderson? <laughs> Damn. Son. Brandon Cooks? It's over, over. Brandon Cooks Nigga, it's cook. over. You don't hear me, Joe? It's over, over. Nigga, this girl wouldn't even cook. Who's going to who's gonna Brand, Wait, what's, Brandon, her, what's her playlist looking Brandon like? Brandon Cook and your girl won't <laughs> cook? Yeah, I wanted a little callback to our earlier episodes. <laughs> the playlist is what kind of yeah. let this shit go. Yeah. You, you, you should check them. Oh, okay. mm. oh, she's not with gang. She's not gang gang. Oh uh, no! Nah. Well, she didn't. She had oh, to then go. I'm glad you got rid yeah, of her. She had to go. This yeah, nigga just a gang. few just a few weeks ago was looking for the biggest dick to fuck his girl with. <laughs> 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 you still the sickest nigga in Nebraska for that one, my nigga. You the this nigga ever for that? Yo, talk about a transition. <laughs> Talk about a change of events. <laughs> that's a, that's such a change of events. Yeah. Yo. God damn it, man. How does that Nigga was trying to get the big dick. <laughs> <All right. laughs> nigga was trying to help wifey out. Yeah. Like, all right, I know I ain't been blowing that back out, but yo. But yo, my man over here. My man Dawson Jermaine just came home. <laughs> he fresh out. I got you. She yo. still left that nigga. Damn, That's boy. crazy when you get a nigga to hop out the closet on your girl. <laughs> <laughs> like, I surprised. Like, ah! uh, you know what, Savon? I don't. What think the this fuck is, is Rich doing here? <laughs> oh, oh, you know. Hey, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Richard. Oh, shit. oh shit. Oh man, Savon, man, I'm so, I'm so glad oh. you're a part of us. Damn, man. So no super. Anyway, Bowl, huh? listen, man. So, why Why can Brooke Lopez hit threes from everywhere now? <laughs> I'm so sick of him. And he wants I to shoot his I am league. sick of Brooke Lopez. Both of the Lopez. Ain't it two of them? What's the there other one? Oh, Robin. Robin. That's the one we got, Robin. right? The Knicks. Robin. Yeah, Robin. Yeah, yeah, Robin. We definitely got the whack Robin. Lopez. <laughs> he wasn't bad. No. He Ma. wasn't bad. Oh, <laughs> is, I'm right. definitely Sean Brown. In comparison, <laughs> in comparison to fucking what Noah and, and, and the mother sinners was doing, shit, he was playing high. I judged him because his hair. That's all it is. He just looks goofy. <laughs> Brooke always had a better cut than him. Super cuts. <laughs> Super cuts. He definitely get his hair cut in the mall. <laughs> For sure. Him and Ian. <laughs> Wait, Ian gets his hair cut in the mall? Red Queen I Center? Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, no. Ian does not. Y'all better leave my Queen fucking part of like Queen Center. I, he never hung up like, I'm going to call you right back walk, walking in the center. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! All right, what's happening? <laughs> what, what, where we at? Takashi, yo, Takashi told. <laughs> That's a fact. Uh, so she released That's a new a fact. single. He gave her more rings, facts. And the tattoo actually oh, means. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> the tattoo actually right. means a Japanese word for a small charcoal grill. <laughs> is what her album means instead. That's dope. I mean, it's hot. So I have to ask, where do we rank? The Seven Rings tattoo versus the Slaughterhouse tattoo that Crooked Eye has. <laughs> Crook still got that tat? No, nah, I think they put no. a little um, they put a little no. extra thing in there, right? They tatted M over it. <laughs> oh, man. That's not where I wanted to edit go points because I more. like Crooked Eye a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so edit point. I'm joking, Crook. Shout <laughs> Unless Crook, you man. really have a him and him tattoo over the Slaughterhouse <laughs> then that's cool. How come you ain't get the Slaughterhouse tattoo? <laughs> he does. He's got a pig. You got a pig. I thought you had a pig. Oh, no, nah, Royce got the pig. <laughs> yo, yo, you don't have the pig. <laughs> no. This nigga's crazy, bro. Who has the pig? No, he doesn't. Let me tell you what my problem is with Ariana Grande's response to her bad tattoo. And yes, I do have a problem with her response. <laughs> you don't like small But that's the point girls. of having a podcast. You just have something to say about all this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know that specific, like, I'm trying to figure out language, and I'm not trying to be offensive. We have no symbols that mean small charcoal grill. <laughs> I tried to And learn. what is the symbol for big charcoal grill? It's different. Uh, Not me. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> hey, hey, bitch, you get, it's a, po- it's you get a small grill. It's off the rails. <laughs> you get a look the one for two burgers. <laughs> That's <laughs> the, it. The three. charcoal <laughs> joint. I mean, we ain't got gas, electricity. That's when you knew mom's got that check. She probably with an electric grill. you like... Where you get that at? <laughs> my mom ain't pop up another <laughs> I gotta give my mom grill. credit for the scams that she was running to raise me. My nigga. She killed that shit, man. I don't know how my mom did it. I think about that shit all Scamming. Time. That shit I'm crazy. telling you. That shit is crazy. You don't ask her? Nah. Scamming. I'm gonna ask her one day, though. 
Why you think you was born just respected in the streets? Because <laughs> none of us were. That's some funny, that's some funny shit right there, yo. That's some really that's funny a laugh. shit. You never thought about it? You just thought you were the hell. Yo, what? Yo, I mean. It was me all this time. Yo, I yeah, that's right. Yeah, Jamil, yeah. I'm here. Why are all your uncles kingpins? I thought it was, <laughs> thought it was what me, the fuck? dog. I thought it was me. You that's think Big poses normal for pictures? Or you think that's like a little street shit? I, I thought it was me. You right. I never thought it was. I thought it was Baby. me. That's why I can't fuck with more. Yes. Like, no, keep, keep it running. Maul doesn't know what it's like to like grow up not royalty. That's true. That's true. <laughs> yes, I do. What are you talking about? Nah, no, you don't. I had it. Nigga. You was popping when I you was born. I didn't struggle, but I struggled. Like I, ne- I didn't go nights hungry and shit like that. Like some stories I hear, I'm like, damn. No, I'm not. No, no, I'm not talking about right. none I'm of like, that shit. shit. Dog, dog, I'm white. It, <laughs> I'm not talking about the privilege. I'm not talking about the privilege shit. Of course, I'm talking about like hip hop in the street. Like oh, I used to get yeah. beat up yeah. <laughs> when I walked outside. I had to fight my way through everything. Yeah, no, it was definitely a little. I had I like had, you was dope. Yeah, in first grade, I didn't know you it. You know how hard I, it took me to be dope. <laughs> and you said in first grade. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't. You don't feel it, but you feel it. It was like fifth grade though. High school, I was like, okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, it. yeah. yeah it was, Jay Z, yeah, 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 it was a little different. It was like, oh, okay, yeah, okay. I, I see why. Yeah, you I can't really fuck with y'all. The plight because I grew up around LL Cool J's niece, who like tries to go against. Like, no, nah, you don't know what it was like being his niece and everyone coming up to you. I was trying to get everyone to come up to me. <laughs> cool like, what the fuck? Was she cute? <laughs> yeah, she's cute. Mm, I'm telling. Yeah, no, she's a good. She's I'm a good looking girl. It's too late now. Already, already, <laughs> I'm t- telling. already texting. Her. <laughs> She's an adult. Yeah, yo, listen to this. Listen to this app. <laughs> this is my issue with Ariana Grande's uh, Grande. Grande's Grande. Uh, response to her Grande. her bad tattoo. And granted, I obsess over things in a way that I shouldn't. It's unhealthy. I don't recommend any of you do it. But that's why this podcast is here for you to listen to me do it. Ariana Grande, I learned, Grande. I learned later, later in life because I don't pay attention to the kids. Comes from Nickelodeon. Okay. Mm-hmm. I was do it ha- Nickelodeon I- or the Disney? Nickelodeon? Okay. Nickelodeon. It was Disney, right? No. I thought it was. I think she later got a gig with Disney. I haven't checked that and say Oh, it's the same. Circuit. But <laughs> Nickelodeon, Disney. Um, I have a theory about what I believe record labels to have been doing with kids from Nickelodeon or Disney. Um, so cool. So she comes, Ariana comes out, she comes from there. She immediately pops off under Lucian Grange, Universal, I understand it. And all of her songs are amazing. All of them. Every one. They're all greatly written. Fucking, they're all like urban smashes. They all have hip hop elements and they all... Urban smashes. They, they, definitely they, a nasty elements fucking with, record they, label term. With hip hop elements. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the it's an urban smash with hip hop elements. I always feel like it's cheating when white people do urban smashes with hip hop elements. Because then it's, <laughs> a, pop, then it's a pop record. It's yeah. not an urban record. It's not even going to chart on urban. So all of her shits doing that shot her to stardom, which is great. All of that is awesome. Sure. Huge fan. I think uh, God is a Woman is the record of last year. She's However, just like my issue with her, it's just like my issue with Logic, it's just like my issue with you. a few of these people, <laughs> just like Lipstick Alley's issue is with me. <laughs> uh, they say I'm, I'm massaging my political relationships uh, and I'm dancing. I don't see that. I feel like I still shit on people, but whatever. Um <laughs> Ariana Grande, every time she says something, Grande. every time these these science projects talk, they talk like science projects. <laughs> and you'll never find one thing wrong with anything that they said. Because everything that they said was structured for you not to be able to have anything wrong with it. Let okay. me read you her response to getting a bad tattoo. <laughs> she says, indeed, I left it out, which should have gone in. I left, I left out whatever the signal is, which should have gone in between. I understand that, Ariana. It hurt like, uh, it hurt like fuck. Uh, it hurt <laughs> like fuck and still looks tight. I wouldn't have lasted one more tight. symbol. I wouldn't have lasted one more symbol, LMAO. But this spot also peels a ton and won't last. So if I miss enough, 
I'll suffer through the whole thing next time. She just addressed six different beefs <laughs> in a paragraph that nobody asked. Now, could be purely coincidence, but I don't feel like those things exist in the music business. People, science projects like her are trained and conditioned to reply perfectly to the mass audience that they produce for. And that's why I have a problem with this. It's really small. It's really petty. And I don't really care about her tattoo. But that reply, it's how she's been replying to everything for the last seven, eight months. And then I don't think it's her, honestly. I that's, think somebody, that's replying it? You yeah. think someone wrote that? Well, I don't think it's just her. I think it's a I team. I think it's a team. <clears throat> yeah. And I think she incorporates the, the fake slang like like or come on or uh. <laughs> like, so, so are you saying she's an industry right. plant? Uh, yeah. She's just okay. the good one. She's very She's talented. the good one, so we can't beef her. She's great. I, so we, I have her I have her next to Bruno Mars. Because I think Bruno Mars is an industry plant, but in the same way Ariana Grande is. Bruno Mars, we love him. Love him. And what but I'm saying is too, applicable to him too. Every time it's he too talks, polished. it's perfect. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the music. Fuck what he's saying. Oh, the, the music, music can, is too polished. The music can be polished. That might be a thing. But when you get in front of uh, media and talk perfect, something's wrong. Like, Bruno, I like I really appreciate the fact that every time he gets a microphone in front of him in an interview, he gives all the praise to black people. No, I'm, I'm not saying in that in that degree. Music-wise, well, I think he's the industry player. All right, we're, we're making the same point. I'm not going to say that, but if I'm looking at his interviews, my same argument for her mm. is applicable to Bruno Mars. But even if you're right, Rory, he'd be another one of the great ones. <laughs> Yeah, and I think Ariana Grande is up there too because her music is awesome. Yeah, it's when they start getting into the bad bobbies and all of this other shit that I'm like, all right. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm all right, everyone. God's not a period. woman anymore. <laughs> 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 if that's what y'all doing out here. Um, it's 2.15, man. Let's get the fuck out of here. I really enjoyed today, man. Yeah, it's fun. I, I need to come get around you guys and have some, share some toxic masculinity. <laughs> Yeah, it was good and toxic fucked up, today. It was fucked up when I had the girls tweeting me like, yo, man, we need that toxic masculinity. <laughs> <laughs> Word. <laughs> Tox that shit up, y'all. Yeah, toxic. <laughs> Tox that Tox shit that up. that shit up. Uh, listen, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Don't let anybody in your Super Bowl party with a plus one that was not invited. Turn them away. It's cold outside. They shouldn't stay there. Well, in New York anyway. Uh, <laughs> next week in New York, it'll be 60 degrees. That's weird. <laughs> Is it? I can't wait. It was just six. Yes, yeah. right. That's, yeah, that's what the white people don't feel the change in climate. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the past two years. I don't think that's weird at all. Really? No. Remind I think me like all of our climate for the past two years has been that way. Sixty in early February. I think that did happen last year. Yeah. Not, maybe not early, but it was like seventy on Christmas. Coming it's off like the ten degree weather. Ago. Yeah, that was fucked up, man. <laughs> Yo, when we die, this world is gonna be fucked up. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> um, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Uh, until the next time, I bid you adieu. But before I do, I leave you with this quote that I just saw that sounds like a good way to end. It says, when black women win victories, it is a boost for virtually every segment of society. That is by Angela Davis. Until next time, I talk to you niggas Wednesday. Peace and love or hate. Fuck it. Whatever. One.